160 hours later, I've got it, and now you can too. It took me so long to make this guy that I've become a meme in Platinum Bros Discord. But it is definitely a Platinum worth having. It's gonna be a long journey, but it's also gonna be such an enjoyable one. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the Persona 5 Platinum Trophy Guide, and it's gonna be super easy. Don't be intimidated about how long the video is. I took out as much crap as I possibly could and only left in the crucial parts. So, like the other guide, if you follow this video from start to finish, by the end of the video, you will have the Platinum Trophy. As always, I'll let you guys know what steps to take and you'll also have timestamps down below so you don't get lost. I do try as much as possible not to include any spoilers, but it's gonna be pretty complicated with this one since I'm gonna be telling you what to do in specific days. So, you know, you most probably will get spoiled. You've been warned. So Persona 5 is one of my favorite JRPGs. It is developed by Atlas. Gameplay wise, it is kind of unique since it limits what you can do because it organizes it by days. The combat is similar to Pokemon, I suppose. You know, if Pokemon was on steroids and LSD. Also, this game has more swagger than Deadpool. Seriously, this game is stylish as hell. So most guys judge this as a three out of 10 in difficulty. Not because of how hard the game is, it's more because of how long it's gonna take you, which is around 150 hours, give or take. You're gonna need at least a playthrough and a half in order to get the shiny new platinum. And that's probably where the problem lies because you're probably gonna get a little bit of burn. I personally did. There are no online trophies. Every trophy apart from the story related ones are technically missable because you've got a certain amount of time to do certain actions in on each day. And there is one glitch trophy as far as I'm aware, but there is a workaround. As long as you create the tools yourself, you're fine. Honestly, I can't really fault the game in any way, shape or form. Personally, like I said, it is one of my favorite games. We're gonna spend a lot of hours in this game, but it's gonna be a hell of a time and we're gonna have so much fun. You know, most of the time at least. All in all, it's a pretty easy game to platinum. It's only gonna take you two steps as long as you organize your days accordingly. But luckily for you, I'm gonna do just that. All right, now that my thoughts and the review is done, let's go ahead and steal some hearts. Now drop my b- Okay, so step one of the roadmap, we're gonna basically play the game as normal. You're gonna enjoy the story. We're gonna unlock most of our trophies in this step. So I won't be basically holding your hand through all the palaces and telling you specifically what to do in every single step of the way. I will only give you tips for bosses, give you reminders of things to do so the grind is a lot shorter. I want you guys to experience the game as much as possible. And obviously if I spoiled everything for you, you wouldn't. What I will do though is tell you what actions to take in every day so that you can get most of the trophies in one single playthrough. If you get to a point in the guide where there is a dialogue that I've not included or if there's a day that I've skipped, it just means you can do whatever you want. It's not something that will impact the platinum trophy. And as a final reminder, try and catch as many personas as you can. It's gonna help you in the long run, trust me. I have a persona guide down below that will tell you exactly where you can get them and how you can get them. All right, so during this step, you should unlock these following trophies. After you've completed that sexy prologue and preview of what's to come, it will ask you to choose what difficulty you'd like to play on. I'd highly recommend the safe difficulty, mainly because it'll help a lot in the money side of things, but also for a few specific trophies. But you know, it's up to you. Now you can play the game however you wish until Sunday the 10th of April, evening time. Head downstairs when you regain control, answer the phone and then leave the shop and re-enter to flip the sign and then head to bed. Talk to Sojuro downstairs to have some breakfast and then thank him for the meal. I head left to reach the station and go into the train. Head upstairs and make a U-turn to go through the turnstile. Then head right and up the stairs and then up the right stairs again. Go into the take you building and go up the stairs on the left. Here, go through the turnstile on the left and go into the train. Finally, head outside for a cutscene. After the battle, make sure you choose the key. When you have a choice, choose to fight. When you regain control of the school, head to the second floor and go into the middle door in the hallway ahead. After your classes, head up to the rooftops to meet Ryuji. After this, go to bed to end the day. Go up the stairs to go into school, and when you get asked a question in class, answer with logic to gain a knowledge plus one. Be sure to agree with Ryuji when given the chance, and then agree to go with Morgana. When you reach your first enemy, be sure to ambush it. Get into the habit of ambushing enemies, not only for the better chance in battle, but also for a future trophy. After you save your game in the safe room, head out and ambush the enemy you killed before, and then proceed forward, ambushing as many enemies as you can. After learning about enemy weaknesses, try and exploit as many as you can to progress towards another trophy. Then after that badass scene, you'll have a mini boss fight. All you have to do here is use Zeo 
on the minions, and then gang up on the boss to dispatch them easily. When you get back to the real world, agree to go for a meal with Ryuji, and then go to bed to finish off the day. After the scenes, we unlock fast travel. By the way, if I don't give you directions to where certain things are, it's because you can fast travel there. So open up the menu and head to the classroom building's second floor. Head into the 2D classroom and speak to the student. When you can, answer with let's split up, then head down the stairs and turn right to listen to the students. After that, head to the third floor and speak to the student there. When asked if the name was mentioned, be sure to answer with Mishima. When you get home, go to bed to finish off the day. When you can, head home. Remember, you can fast travel now. Then go down the stairs, then straight ahead. When you can, answer with let's go somewhere safe. Then when you get home, go to sleep. When you regain control, get down to the ground floor, then right, then left, then left, and then left again. After the scenes follow Ryuji up the stairs to the second floor, all the way to the door at the end. When you regain control, go through the infiltration point, once inside head right. Now in the fight with the pixie, when you get to the second dialogue option, be sure to pick you chose the wrong enemy, and you'll obtain pixie as a persona. Again, from this point, try and gain as many personas as you possibly can. I'll leave a persona guide down below in the description. If you end up killing some personas, don't worry, I did as well. There's plenty of other places you can get them later on. Okay, so before we go ahead from now on, I recommend you sneak on every enemy you can, exploit every weakness you can, try and obtain each different persona that you can. Keep in mind if you're playing on the safe difficulty, you are going to one-shot a lot of enemies, but don't worry. No persona is missable as long as you don't start a new game. If you find against a persona you already have, use the all-out attack. Getting in the habit of doing these things will help in the long run for both obtaining all the personas and also to get a few of the miscellaneous trophies. Again, remember I have a persona weakness and negotiation guide down below in the description. When you regain control, go through the door to progress. When you reach a mini boss, just use fire attacks and all-out attacks to make this an easy fight. And when you get to the cafe, talk to the woman and then go to bed to finish off the day. When you regain control, head to the clinic and speak to the doctor. I'd hold off buying anything for now, especially if you're playing on a safe. You're not really gonna need a lot of things. After this, go to sleep. All you can do here is follow Ryuji, so go ahead and do that. When you reach the shop, try and hold off buying anything again, mostly because you're gonna need the money for something else. When you're making some tools, be sure to pick the lockpick to gain plus two proficiency. When you receive a text about going to the palace, choose the side later. Head to the library on the third floor and pick up the pirate legend book. Next, head to the underground walkway on the Shibuya. Here, examine the flyers, that little yellow icon on your minimap. Choose a convenience store part-time job. Next, head to the underground mall and go into the flower shop to buy two bionutrients. After this, head to the central street and go into every shop to unlock fast travel for most of them. Next, head to the second hand shop and buy the CRT television. Now that we've done all the shopping, head over to the clinic and ask about the rumored medicine. When you answer the questions, be sure to be nice with the answers you give to gain a guts plus one. When you get home, examine the booth, but be sure not to study. Then head upstairs and clean the bookcase to get the Yoncha Wanderer book and the plan. When asked a question at school, answer with C from knowledge plus one, then decline going to the palace again. Then accept Ryuji's invitation to hang out. When you get to the dialogue, answer with I'm counting on you, and what about them? And finally, do you want to go back? When you get home, speak to Sojiro, and then to the customer. Then head upstairs and feed the plant for a kindness plus two. Then head back downstairs and read the pirate legend book when you interact with the bookshelf at the counter. On your way to school, choose to read the pirate legend book to finish it and gain a guts plus three. Head to the library when you can and pick up Zoro the outlaw. Then head to the hideout to infiltrate the palace. When you can, fuse Pixie and Arsene to create a Gathion. While you're here in the Velvet Room, you might as well register the personas that you can. Then when you're done, be sure to go into the palace the same way you did before. Go through the same path as you did before. And remember to get into the habit of using L1 to use the third eye. Anything highlighted in yellow, you can steal. I recommend doing this in every new area you go to, because again, this mounts up to a trophy. Take out the enemies as you progress by ambushing them. Also remember to obtain any personas you don't have, exploit weaknesses, and use the all-out attack if you already have that persona you're fighting. Also remember to save at every safe room you come across. Trust me, this is a game that you want to save often. Okay, so I know I told you to exploit every persona's weakness, but you're kind of going to need your SP later on. So after you reach the room with a puzzle, just use physical attacks on personas that you already have. When you reach the section where you have to go up on the chandeliers, be sure to go to the other side for a locked chest. Luckily, you made a lockpick and you can open it. Be sure to save in the next safe room and carry on through the palace while remembering the usual tips. Save again at the next safe room. You will eventually find a chest that you can't open, but don't worry, we will come back for it. Then be sure to save in the next safe room after that. When you reach your next mini boss, be sure to guard with everyone when you see him charge his attack. Heal when needed. Since he has no weaknesses, just use physical attacks until he goes down. After the fight, just ignore everything and sprint to the safe room. Since you're here, save once again. 
and then proceed forward. When you get to the platforming section, be sure to head to all four corners because there are two chests on two of the balconies. Also be careful because one enemy will spawn right in front of your face, which that totally didn't happen to me. I'm just warning you. Around this point in the game, I had personally ambushed 50 enemies and unlocked the sneaking one trophy. If you haven't yet, don't worry, keep playing, keep ambushing enemies and you should get it shortly. You will eventually find another chest that you can't open, but again, we will come back to it later on. And when you reach the roof, be sure to use ice attacks on these enemies as they can create problems for you. Use the elevator when you can for a chest and a huge shortcut. And again, you will eventually find another locked chest. You will eventually come across the mini boss you fought earlier, except this time he does have a weakness and it's electric. Sadly, you won't be able to obtain him because this level is a bit too high for you right now. In the next save room, be sure to save again. And when you reach the next mini boss, which looks strangely like, you know, a melted penis with gangrene. Anyway, the tactics for this fight is basically just use physical heavy attacks and keep your health up. Save again in the next save room you find. And after the scenes, you can choose to leave. Now go to sleep, you must be exhausted. When you can, choose to send out the calling card. And when you get home, be sure to save in the attic before doing anything else. This is really important if you wanna get those three chests, which you should, and it will also give you maximum proficiency points. All right, so what you're gonna do is craft some lockpicks. Sell only for three and nothing less. If you craft the lockpicks and don't get three, reload the save and try again until you get three. Like I said before, this will give you proficiency plus three as well as three lockpicks. When you regain control, be sure to save, then fast travel to the east building annex and grab the locked chest. Be careful with the enemies when you're doing this because they'll be on extremely high alert. Next, head to the central tower and grab the chest there. From here, backtrack back to the roof until you reach the staircase for the final locked chest. Also, while I was doing this, a party member got held hostage for me, so I unlocked the competent negotiator trophy. Right, so to get this trophy, you need to either negotiate with the enemy like you do for obtaining personas for it to release the party member, or if you want, do what I did, and it is a lot easier. If you are playing online, you can ask for assistance from the Phantom Thieves. Either one of those options will net you this trophy. All right, now that you have all the chests, head over to the throne room and save your game. After the scenes, you have your real first boss fight. So it has multiple phases as the fight goes on. In the first phase, start off by just concentrating on physical attacks and healing. When he heals himself, do the same, but target the cop instead of Kamoshida. If you see him staring at Anne, be sure to guard with her. He's about to let loose. When you've destroyed the cop, answer with let's go for the crown when you can. When it's the main character's turn, I chose to send Ryuji. You can send anybody else, but I think Ryuji is the best option. You carry on as you've been doing so far. I recommend healing once a party member has 80 or less health just to be on the safe side. But again, if you're playing on safe, it doesn't really matter because if you do die, you can just come back. When Kamashi announces a special move, be sure to guard. Although, you know, you probably don't need to. But anyway, keep up this tactic and soon enough, victory will be yours. When you get home, head to bed. When asked a question at school, answer with singing for a knowledge plus one. Then after school, head over to the weapons shop in Shibuya and sell all your treasure. After that, head into the velvet room and make sure you have a chariot persona, a hierophant persona, a death persona, and a lover's persona. If you don't have any of these, then just be sure to make them. Next, go hang out with Ryuji by answering his text. And then when you get the dialogue choice, choose let's not fight, then calm down Ryuji. When given the option, choose let's chat and then answer with I'm not, and then I'd love to. Interact with the TV, it'll have an offer on for some healing items. Feel free to buy them if you like, it's not really a bad deal. If you're playing on safe, there's not really much point in buying health items, but again, if you're playing on safe, then you've got a ton of money, so, you know, it's up to you, do what you want. Next, head over to the underground walkway in Shibuya, head to the drink stand and buy the drink for a charm plus one. After that, head over to Central Street and go to the movie theater for a guts plus three. Finally, interact with the bookcase and read Zoro to finish off the day. On the train, finish off reading Zoro for a kindness plus three. When asked the question at school, answer with knowing your actions are wrong and then conviction that you're right for a knowledge plus one. After school, head to the library and borrow the alluring dancer. Next, answer the message and head over to the clinic. Answer with I want to do a clinical trial, then with I have a bad heart, and finally, I agree for a guts plus one. In the evening, head to the bathhouse opposite the cafe for a charm plus three. When you gain control, head over to the central street in Shibuya and go into the diner. Order the nostalgic steak for a kindness plus one and a knowledge plus two. At the cafe, hang out with Sojiro. Answer with making coffee, then that guy seems suspicious, and then I want the ladies to love me for a kindness plus three. When you can, answer with four for a knowledge plus one, and after school, go hang out with Ryuji. Then interact with a coffee siphon. 
out with Ryuji again, when he can answer with are you worried about him, and then but you're doing great. In the evening head over to the bathhouse for a charm plus three. Go ahead and hang out with Ryuji once again, when he can answer with go somewhere fun, and then pick Oggy Kubo, and then finally answer him with I'm in love. In the evening choose to make some coffee again. On the train, read the alluring dancer, and then in school, answer with wonder, then child, and then prodigy, for a knowledge plus one. After school, head over to the clinic in Young and Jaya, and choose I want to do a clinical trial. Then answer with I need the medicine, when you can, for a guts plus one. In the evening, hang out with Sojiro, and answer with medium fine, then is it trouble. Head to the underground walkway in Shibuya and grab a drink at the drink stand for a proficiency plus one. After that, head to the underground mall and buy some bio-nutrients from the flower shop. If you can afford two, then go ahead and get two. Now head to the diner and order a hot coffee for a guts plus one and a knowledge plus two. Finally in the evening, go to the bathhouse for a charm plus two. After the scenes, head over to the bathhouse again for a charm plus three. Answer with when I get back, then when you regain control, head over to Central Street in Shibuya and sell the medal over at the airsoft shop. When you're at home, examine the shelf, and then go to sleep. After all the scenes, you'll be back home. Obviously from my group name, I picked the Furuski clan, obviously, but let me know down in the comments below what you guys chose. Be sure to feed your plant for a kindness plus two, then go to sleep. After school, hang out with Anne. If she's not right beside you in the classroom, then look for her in the underground mall. When you can, answer with, are you feeling better now? Then you might be right. Then I couldn't just ignore you. And finally, let's find it together. In the evening, head to the underground walkway in Shibuya and check the yellow money icon on your map to search for another job and choose all of them. Now head to the central street and head to the beef bowl shop to work for proficiency plus two. When you can, answer with a femme fatale for a knowledge plus one. When you're in mementos, treat it like a palace. Explore as much as you can before heading to the objective. Try and ambush as many enemies as possible. Try and exploit as many weaknesses as you can. And obtain any personas you don't already have. And use all out attacks when you fight and already gain personas. If you need any help, refer to my persona guide below. While I was doing this, I unlocked a precise insight trophy for exploiting enemy weaknesses a hundred times. Again, if you guys haven't got this yet, don't worry. Keep exploiting weaknesses and you will eventually get it. When you reach the mini boss, just destroy him with electric attacks. And all out attacks for an easy win. Also remember here to check your equipment every now and then to see if you obtain anything better than what you have. Finally, go to bed. When you can, reply with you've done good kid and you're really hyped for this. When you're home, check the television and again, if you want to buy what they're selling, do. If you don't, then don't. Next, head to the underground walkway and grab a drink from the drink stand for a guts plus one. Next, head to the beef ball shop. But before you go in, be sure to save here because in case you mess up, you can always reload your save. You'll basically have to remember all the orders for max points. I would help you here, but it's all random, so I can't. What I can tell you is, if need be, record a video or write them down. When you get them all right, you will gain a proficiency plus three. In the hideout menu, just exit. We're going to basically wait until we get a few more requests before going back into mementos. Or else it's just going to be a waste of time. Now head over to the classroom, head to the hallway, and go hang out with Ryuji. When you can, answer with protein powder. Then you seem conflicted. And finally, so he's an asshole. In the evening, head to the station square in Shibuya and talk to the politician. Say so you are interested and agree to help him. Answer with the best interest of all. And then, will you have my support? When in class, answer with Minamoto no Yoshitsune for a knowledge plus one. After that, hang out with Ryuji again by answering his text. When he can, answer with we can train at my place. Then you guys should trust Nakaoka. Then can you explain that? And then huh? in the evening, head over to the station square in Shibuya and hang out with a politician. When you can, answer with I want to do what you do. Then let's mediate. Then that's campaign obstruction. Then you seem to have conviction. And finally, have confidence in yourself. When you can, answer with an optical illusion, then visual information, then brain, and finally, they have different cognitions. Here, answer with magistrate's patronage and the name of a sum of currency. Here, answer with ignorance, then four. If you're on safe mode, I wouldn't bother what's buying on the television, but again, it's up to you. Then all you can do is go to bed. When you're in school, answer with Van Gogh for a knowledge plus one. Then when you regain control again, head to the station square, then head right to Central Street. When you get a chance, choose a museum. And now that you've found the palace, you know the drill. Use those tips I keep reminding you guys. When you can, answer with Madarame's pupils. You'll have to leave a locked chest for now, but again, we'll get it later. When you get home, head to bed. 
All right, first things first, exit the hideout menu and head over to the airsoft shop in Shibuya and sell all your treasure and then buy as many updated weapons and clothes as you can so you're fully prepared for this palace. Next, head to the velvet room for a side quest of sorts and then head to the clinic and the young and Jaya so we can hang out with Takemi. If you think you need to buy anything from her, you can, but again, if you're unsafe, you kind of really don't need to. When you can't answer with Dr. Takemi will help and then you seem happy for a gods plus one. In the evening, speak to the couple multiple times so they leave and then make some coffee to finish off the day. All right, let's head to the palace. Open the text and choose to meet up. Then choose Infiltrate Palace. Remember kids, same tips as always. And don't forget you can access the Persona Guide below. Don't worry, I've still not forgotten about the locked chest. Just keep progressing, we'll go back to them. Be sure to save at the safe room. After releasing Morgana from the lasers, be sure to attack the gem and use Lucky Punch for a critical to catch it. With the party members that don't have Lucky Punch, which is basically everybody apart from Morgana, just guard. If you do end up killing it, don't worry, you can get them later on, so it's all good. If you did manage to get it though, you will get the a Phantom Thief's Duty Trophy for obtaining a Treasure Demon. Further on, be sure to save at the next safe room. When you reach a room with a red aura enemy, take this opportunity to unlock the Power That Connects Trophy. All you have to do is down an enemy with your gun, then pass the baton three times in a row. Just remember when you pass the baton, be sure to only shoot enemies that are not downed already, or it won't work. Also try and use Anne for last because her shot hits more enemies at the same time and she could basically ruin it all for you. After the next cutscene be sure to head back to unlock the safe room you can access before and then head to the museum entrance. Here go into the velvet room so you can give the twins the personas they wanted. Also make sure to register your personas as well since you're here. So the one of the Jack Frost with the Mabufu skill. If you've collected the personas as you've been playing then you should be able to make this and then once you do speak to the twins. Once that's done be sure to have a death persona, a lover's persona, a chariot persona and a hierophant persona with you before you leave. Now you can leave the palace and in the evening interact with the television downstairs and answer with using noise to cause distress for a knowledge plus one then go to bed when you reach the mini boss fight just use boss on your party and hammer away you should be a piece of cake the next fight isn't hard either just use ice attacks on the monks and then lay into the blacksmith and the fight will be over soon when you get home head to bed in the train, finish off alluring Dancer for a charm plus three, and then in school, answer with the silver ratio for a knowledge plus one. After school, head to the library and borrow the Gallant Rogue, and then after that, head to the underground mall in Shibuya. If you don't have any bio-nutrients, buy some, and then find Anne so we can hang out with her. When you can, answer with your unique, then you're a hard worker, then can we stop yet, then this won't help your heart, then you're right, then has that happened to you, and finally, that freedom sounds nice. When you get home, feed the plant for a kindness plus two, then head downstairs and hang out with Sojiro. Interact with the TV if you want to buy what they're offering. To be fair, this one isn't actually a bad deal. Next, head to the underground walkway in Shibuya and head to the drink stand for a kindness plus one. Next, hang out with Takemi by answering her text. Answer with they trust you, then I had no idea, and then finally that's good for a guts plus one. Next, we're going to hang out with Yoshida by answering his text. When you can, answer with I want to improve my speech, then one with conviction, and finally that was helpful for a charm plus three. Answer Yusuke with we need to plan first, and then at school answer with together and senses for a knowledge plus one. After school head over to the convenience store in Shibuya for a shift, and then in the evening head for the bathhouse for a charm plus three. In the train start reading the Gallant Rogue, and then after school hang out with Anne by replying to her text. When you can answer with I know what you mean, then that's hilarious, then tell me, then good idea, and finally good luck with that. In the evening go make some coffee. After school, hang out with Takemi by replying to her text. When you can, answer with you seem annoyed, then you're a genius, and finally, it suits you for a guts plus one. In the evening, agree to hang out with Ryuji, and when you can, answer with let's talk to Takeshi, followed by I think it's cool Ryuji. At school, answer with Asin Lupin, Gentleman Burglar for a knowledge plus one. After school, hang out with Anne by answering her text, then answer with give it up, then she's amazing, huh? Then it had grace, and so how do you do it? And finally, I mean, that's why it's fake. In the evening, interact with the TV downstairs and answer with Queen of Evidence for a knowledge plus one. Then head to the bathhouse for a charm plus three. Today is the day. It's my birthday. Well, happy, happy birthday. birthday. In the game, you dummies. Or you could have said. Anyway, let me know what you guys did on your birthday. Anyway, head over to the palace because on my birthday, we're going to yes. take down this mofo. Choose whichever party you want. You can change at any time from the stats in the main menu. If you want to do the palace from the beginning, you can do. Or you can carry on from where you left off last time in Central Garden. And as always, remember the usual tips. 
And remember, the Persona Guide is also down below. You will find another locked chest. Don't worry, we'll come back for it. When you reach the mini boss, don't use physical attacks because it won't work. Use elemental attack. Doesn't matter which one, just use elemental attack. After that, you'll find another locked chest, which we'll come back to again. Save in the new save room. Then after the puzzles in the scene, save at the next safe room. If by this point you can't hold any more masks, go to the velvet room, register your personas, and then release your few to make more space. When you get to the security room, open the shutters first, then turn off the lasers, and finally shut down the main power. In the next fight, use electric attacks for an easy win. You run into another locked chest, which we'll get to again, save again in the next safe room, and then when you can, answer with use the darkness, and now you can head out of the palace to finish off the day. Yeah, I kinda lied, we didn't take him down. But almost, we're almost there. So be sure you have a Death Persona, a Chariot Persona, and a Hierophant Persona on you. Then go hang out with Takemi by answering her text. Answer with this is harassment, then with don't lose hope, then with anything I can do, and then finally with I'm glad you did for a guts plus one. In the evening, hang out with Sojiro, then later on, agree to hang out with Ryuji when he messages you. Answer with they do when you can, and when you get home, check out the TV in your bedroom for a deal. Get it if you want to, or don't if you don't. After that, head to the underground walkway in Shibuya for a drink, at the drink stand for a knowledge plus one, then hang out with Yoshida by answering his tech. When you can, answer with yes Mr. Yoshida told me, then his speaking skills. On the train, finish off reading The Gallant Road for a Guts plus three. In school, answer with William Kidd for a Knowledge plus one. And then after school, head to the library and pick up The Great Thief. You can pick up healing items and equipment if you really need to from the clinic and the airsoft shop. When you're done though, send out the calling card. This time, we really are taking them down. When you get home later on, be sure to save in your attic. And yep, you guessed it, kids. It's time for the scum save again. Same as last time, make some lockpicks at the desk. Morgana will let you do this three times. And this time, settle for no less than four lockpicks. One of those times, you should be able to make two lock picks instead of the normal one and same as last time if you don't get four reload the save and try again this did take me a few times so it may take you a few times as well depending on how lucky you are but believe me it's worth it you'll also get a proficiency plus three Okay, if you want to redo the whole palace over again for XP, then you can. If you're on safe mode, you really don't need to, but again, it's up to you. If you just want to get the locked chests, then proceed through the entrance to get the first one, then head to the treasure hall for another two, and finally head to the main hall for the last one. When you're ready, head up to the upper main hall to get to that treasure. When you get to the boss fight, just like the last one, it has phases, although I find this one a lot easier. In the first phase, you'll be on a weird painting thing with like, you know, facial features. Be sure to take out the eyes and the mouth by using Ryuji's Rampage and Yusuke's Vicious Strike, have Morgana heal when needed, and have the main character buff the attacking party members. When it's just the mouth left, then just hammer away with elemental damage, and be sure to use the all-out attack when you can. When old boy comes out, just be sure to lay into him with powerful physical attack. These are basically the only two phases this boss has. I managed to take him out in only one round, because you know I'm amazing, but it can take around two to three rounds. Either way, keep this up, and he will fall like a sack of potatoes. When you're home, go to sleep to finish off the day, and the month. Be sure you have a chariot persona with you, and then after school hang out with Ryuji by answering his text. When you can answer with things turned out for the best, then with all I did was watch, and finally you weren't cool though. In the evening head over to the big burger in Shibuya and choose to take the challenge for a guts plus one, a knowledge plus one, a charm plus one, and a proficiency plus one. All right. That was one hell of a burger. When you can, answer with I guess we have to. Then after school, head over to the Central Street in Shibuya. Go to the bookstore and buy everything you can. Next, head over to the convenience store for a shift. And in the evening, choose to side later to the text and interact with the TV and answer with probation officers are unpaid for a knowledge plus one. You can answer the text and meet up with Mishima. Answer with you're a genius read you when you can. In the train, read Vague. After school, make sure you have a Temperance Persona and a Lover's Persona. If you don't, head to the Velvet Room in Shibuya and make one. When you're ready, head to the Airsoft Shop and sell all your treasure. Next, head to the classroom in Oyama Ichome and leave to the hallway. Then head to the middle hallway to talk to Kawakami and answer with, I have a question for her. When you're ready, hang out with Anne by meeting her at the Underground Mall in Shibuya. Answer with, let's go somewhere fun and pick Harajuku. Then when you can, answer with, yeah. In the evening, use the yellow phone to call Kawakami. Then when you can, choose, I was lonely. At school, answer with they were brightly coloured for a knowledge plus one. And after school, go hang out with Anne again by meeting her at the underground mall in Shibuya. When you can, answer with it seems that way. Then, was she working hard? Then it's because you're kind. And finally, show her your own strength. In the evening, hang out with Kawakami by answering her text. And when you can, answer with it does. And absolutely not. Then you need money. And finally, I requested you. 
After the scene, head over to the underground walkway for a drink at the drink stand for a charm plus one, then head to the velvet room in Shibuya and create a sun persona. Don't forget to replace the persona you'd used if it was a confidant one. Then go hang out with Yosha by answering his text. When you can, answer with your annoying the audience. Then what do you think? Then the ex-convict has a point. And finally, with I just spoke the truth for a charm plus three. After school meet up with Anne and Shibuya, answer with let's go somewhere fun and pick Shibuya. Then answer with sounds like a good plan when you can. In the evening, feed your plant for a kindness plus two. If you want, you can decorate your bookshelf with the new items you have. And when you're ready, head to the bathhouse for a charm plus three. At school, answer with Hermit Crabs for a knowledge plus one. Be sure to have the chariot persona and then hang out with Ryuji by answering his text. When you can, pick Are You Satisfied Now? Then Don't Do It, Then I Never Realized That, and finally, I Agree. In the evening, head to the diner in Shibuya and order a hot coffee for a Guts plus one and a knowledge plus two. At school, answer with Dreams for a knowledge plus one. Then after school, head over to the diner in Shibuya again and order a hot coffee for a Guts plus one and a knowledge plus two. In the evening, be sure to have a hero fan persona and hang out with Sojiro. In the evening, hang out with Kawakami by using the yellow payphone. At school, answer with three Olympic sized pools for a knowledge plus one. After the scenes, head to the underground walkway in Shibuya and buy the drink for a proficiency plus one. Then hang out with Anne by answering her tech. When you can, answer which she admires you, then so she could show you up, then cheer up, and finally, go get him, Tiger. Next, hang out with Yoshida by answering his text. And when you can, answer with I think so for a charm plus three. In school, answer with the government for a knowledge plus one. When you can, answer with what's up, then calm down Yusuke, then you're so tough on yourself, and finally, I'd be glad to help. In the evening, head to the diner in Shibuya and order the hot coffee for a guts plus one and a knowledge plus three. In the train, go ahead and read The Great Thief, and then in school, answer with it'll change color for a knowledge plus one. In the evening, hang out with Kawakami by answering her text. When you can, answer with yeah, they do. Then so I can slack off in class. Then I'll request you more often. And finally, you have it rough. In the evening, head to the diner in Shibuya and order hot coffee for a guts plus one and a knowledge plus three. Answer with what about the media when you can, and then in the evening, hang out with Kawakami by answering her text. When you regain control, check if you have an Emperor Persona. If you caught the region in the last palace, then you will have that. If not, then you can't really create one, so don't worry too much about it. Go hang out with Yusuke by answering his text, answer with mementos, and then give me your brush. When you're in the battle, just use fire attacks for an easy win. After that, answer with you caught me, then with thanks, then that is an amazing power, and finally, it's a deal. When you get to the bar, answer with who controls Shibuya, then I need intel on their boss, then are those your terms, and finally, I accept your offer. When you can, choose a bank, and then in the evening, interact with the TV if you want to buy what they're offering. If you don't, then, you know, as always, don't. When you can, choose something like that, and then at the palace entrance, pick whichever team you want. Again, you can change them as you go forward, whenever you want. Most importantly though, follow the palace tips. There's also a negotiation guide down below if you need it. When you get to the battle, use elemental attacks only, and keep your health up. In the battle after that, just use Mafre, and it should be over very, very soon. When you can, answer with Decide Later, then after school, head to the underground mall in Shibuya and go hang out with Anne. Choose Let's Go So It Went Fun and pick Inokashira Park. Then answer with You Should Make Some. After that, head to Shinjuku and go into the flower shop to buy some mega fertilizer. I bought three because I could afford it. If you can afford three, then get three. Next, head to the velvet room and create a Makami if you don't have one by fusing a Jack Frost with an Asparagus. Then fuse the Makami with a Jack Frost and be sure to give it Frey to get Shiza with Frey. After you've done that, give it to the twins. Since we're in the velvet room, be sure that you have a Chariot Persona a lover's persona, an emperor persona, a devil persona, and a temperance persona. After this, head over to the diner in Shibuya and order the hot coffee for a guts plus one and a knowledge plus one. After school, leave the classroom and go hang out with Ryuji. Select Let's Go Somewhere Fun and pick Suidibashi. Then answer with Go By Yourself. In the evening, feed your plan for a kindness plus three. Now head to Shinjuku and go see the fortune teller. In the train, finish off reading The Great Thief for a knowledge plus three, and then in school, answer with Pope Joan for a knowledge plus one. After school, head over to the library and pick up the illusory popus. Next, we hang out with Yusuke by answering his text, and when you can, answer with It's Novel, and then I can't wait. In the evening, interact with the TV and answer with Ordering Food Without Money for a knowledge plus one. Let's head to Shinjuku and go into the bar to talk to the reporter for a charm plus three. 
After school hang out with Anne by answering her text, choose let's go somewhere fun and pick Inokashira Park. Next hang out with Kawakami by answering her text and answer with what are you scheming, then how rude, then you need to love yourself, and finally why did you lie to me? Exit the hangout menu and then go hang with Ryuji by answering his text. Answer with we can't lose either and then it's all because of you for the true confident trophy. In the evening hang out with Kawakami by interacting with the yellow payphone. Answer with who's the master here. Then so did you stop. Then it's not your fault. Then you okay with that. And finally it's too late now. Buy the item the TV is offering. Next head over to the underground walkway and buy the drink of the drink stand for a guts plus one. Then go hang out with Anne by answering a text. When you can't answer with you have some real guts, then there's no doubt on my mind, then good advice, then finally she'll be happy to hear that. In the evening hang out with Yoshida by answering his text and answer with I'm for them and then I'd leave it to chance. At school, answer with heavy rain for knowledge plus one. Then after school, go hang out with Yusuke by answering his text. When you can, answer with don't let it bother you. Then this is just the beginning. Then this isn't like you. And finally, that's the spirit. In the evening, head over to the crossroads in Shinjuku to hang out with Ohia. When you can, answer with Mishima Might. Then what about their justice? And finally, it's for the article for a charm plus three. After school, head to the back streets in Yongin Jaya, go to the batting cages, but before you go in, be sure to save. Our main goal here is to get a home run. If you don't, then reload the save and try again until you do. Try hitting the ball around this area, and you should get it. Once you get the home run, you'll get the C's hard hit a trophy, then reload the save again, and now your goal is to hit every single ball to gain a proficiency plus two. I'm not gonna lie, this trophy did make me tear a few hairs out. Unless you're, you know, a batting cage god and you get a home run and hit all the balls all in one go, then, you know, stop bragging and go get Get yourself a life. Anyway, in the evening interact with the books on the bar and choose to read Yoncha Wanderer. After that, go hang out with Ohia by answering her text, choose you shouldn't make assumptions, and I'm sure you are, and why not change careers, and finally she was falsely accused for a charm plus three. In school, answer with gold for a knowledge plus one, and then after school, it's time to head over to the palace. You can do that by answering one of the texts. Now I know you guys must be sick of hearing this, but I don't want to be accused of being the reason you guys didn't get a trophy. So follow the usual palace tip. Ambush enemies, obtain the personas you don't have, exploit the weaknesses, use all our attacks on the personas you already have, and use L1 to get the scout treasure. Finally, there's a persona negotiation guide below. Okay, as always, choose whatever party you want and let's get this show on the road. Go through the palace at your own pace as always, exploring everywhere that you can. When you reach your first save room, be sure to save. When you get to a dialogue choice, choose let's observe them for now. And then with that's a great idea. Now, it's up to you if you wanna head there automatically or if you want to manually go there. I'm lazy, so I went there automatically. Either way, for the mini boss fight, just hammer away with electric attacks and keep your health up. It'll be over before you know it. After the fight, it's up to you again if you to head there straight away if you want to manually go there. For this mini boss, however, hammer away with nuke attacks. And again, it'll be over faster than something really bad. It doesn't matter. When you get to a room with an elevator, don't go in until you've explored the other path. When you get to the bit where there are two staircases, be sure to explore them both. And don't worry, as always, we will be getting the locks chest. In the next mini boss fight, use nuke damage on the Podbringer Demon, electric damage on the Tornado Devil, and psychic damage on the Demonic Warlord to annihilate them completely without even an ounce of fighting back. After the fight, be sure to save in the safe room and save again in the next safe room. By the way, I will be revealing the codes, AKA puzzle solutions. So if you guys want to figure that out on your own, head over to... Also remember, keep using L1 for those sexy treasures. And also there will be a lock chest. Now on to the spoilers. All right, so the first answer is 0102. The next one is 0931. In the next vault, you will find a lock chest, which we will get to later as always. Anyway, the next pin is 2319. Next, you'll have a mini boss. With this fight, try and get lucky with lucky punch for a critical. If not, then just abuse it with elemental attacks until it falls. All right, once again, I'll be revealing some codes. So skip over to if you want to do this puzzles on your own. Again, you will find another lock chest. Now, onto the spoilers again. At the machine, press the left button, then press the button on the next one, and then press the button on the previous one. In this vault, you'll find another lock chest, which we will get to later. Also, while in this palace, I got the perfect combination trophy for performing 50 all-out attacks. I also got the aggressive searcher trophy for obtaining 150 items from searchable objects in palaces. Don't worry, if you guys haven't got these yet, keep on using the palace tips, and you will eventually get these. All right, so the last code is 1841. Before you exit the palace, head to the velvet room to register your personas, then fuse in the combo 
Automata with a Berith to create a Matador. Really Be sure it has Magaru. And give it to the twins. After that, fuse a Jack o' Lantern with an Angel to create an Elagor if you haven't got one. Then fuse a Berith, an Andrus, and an Elagor by using the Advanced Fusion to create a Florus. And be sure to give it a Terracaja. You will also unlock the Nominating the Twins trophy here for doing a group guillotine. Now give the Florus to the twins. Finally, make sure you have a Precess Persona, a Fortune Persona, a Temperance Persona, a Moon Persona, an Emperor Persona, and a Lover's Persona before you leave. You can now leave the palace. Let's send out that dank calling card. In the evening, be sure to save in your room. You know the drill. We're going to make some lockpicks. Same as last time, sell for no less than four lockpicks for that sweet proficiency plus three. On the train, go ahead and start reading the illusory Popus. In school, answer with Bowsley for a knowledge plus one. And now it's time to take down a big fish. Anyway, choose a part you want to take with you. I'm taking Makoto, Morgana, and Ryuji. Again, follow the palace tips. And again, if you want, you can run the whole palace again. Or if you just want to get the locked treasures, then head over to the office and grab the locked chest on the stairs. Then head to the underground vaults, go to the second vault for the second locked chest, and then finally head to the third vault all for right. the last locked chest. All right, all right, all right. Boss time. So like the other boss fights, this one is no different. It has phase. In the first phase, just hammer away at him with whatever you want and keep your health up. If he inflicts any ailments, just use Makoto or Morgana to sort them out. He won't give you much trouble in this phase, to be honest. So just keep playing as normal. And in the second phase, it can get a little bit trickier, but he's still Still pretty easy. I would however recommend keeping your party at 150 health at all times and try and heal those ailments as soon as you can. Again hammer away at the boss until the dirty fly comes out and then target him instead. In no time you'll squash him like the dirty little insect he is. If the fight goes on for a while you'll have a chance to distract him by using a party member like in the first boss fight but if you're on safe mode it probably won't come to that and even if it does come to that I probably wouldn't do it. It's easy to just destroy him. At school in your free time, finish off reading the Illusory Popus for a kindness plus three. Then after school, head to the library and return the book. Let's go ahead and hang out with Makoto. If she's not in the library, she'll just be outside it. When you can, answer with what do you plan to do, then you're totally right. In the next ones, you can pretty much choose whatever you want. And then in the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku and meet up with the fortune teller. Buy the stupidly expensive stone. And then later on, when you get an invite from Yuji, decline. Head to the underground walkway in Shibuya for your weekly dose of disgusting drink for kindness plus one. Then head to Central Street in Shibuya and buy all the books in the bookstore if you haven't already. Do the same in the bookstore in the red light district in Shinjuku. And next, go hang out with Makoto by answering her text. When you can, answer with your very well informed and that was dangerous. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku to talk to the fortune teller again. In the train, start reading Medjid Menace, and then in school, answer with someone pretentious said so for a knowledge plus one. In the afternoon, we're going to head to the Mementos and go as far as we can. Head to the access way in Shibuya and check the requests. Then head to Memento. So here, you use the same tips as the palaces, and as always, there's a negotiation guide below. By the way, I started from the beginning, and I recommend you do the same, but as always, it's up to you. It doesn't impact a lot, but I just like being really thorough, and I have a little bit of ACD. So, when you reach your first target, you use Blessed Attacks for an easy win. Make sure you save your game when when you get to the rest area. When you reach the second target, you use Curse for an easy time. When you reach the third target, hammer away with Fire to burn the Witch. And go ahead and use your lockpick when you find a locked chest. When you reach the fourth target, destroy him with Psychic Attack. Be sure to save again in the next safe area and be sure to go as deep into Mementos as you can. While you're doing this, you will unlock the Beginner Phantom Thieves trophy for completing five requests. Also, before I forget, before leaving, head over to the Velvet Room and perform a Gallows Execution to unlock the Atop Countless Sacrifices trophy. Since we're here, head over to the Train Persona section and choose a persona to detain. Now you can leave mementos and head to bed. After school, make sure you have a priestess persona. If you have one jailed, it will still work. And go and hang out with Makoto by answering her text. When you can, answer with you have the wrong idea, and then you can change. In the evening, head over to the washing machines next to the bathhouse and choose four items to watch. Then use Kawakami when you can. Next, head over to the red light district in Shinjuku and talk to the fortune teller. When you can, answer with tell her the result. Then fate is not absolute. Then I didn't make any deals. Then I'm not capable of that stuff. Then I get nothing out of this. And finally, all right, I guess. In school, choose to read in your free time and finish off Medjed Menace for a knowledge plus three. After school, head over to the diner in Shibuya and order the hot coffee for a guts plus one and a knowledge plus three. In the evening, make sure you have a temper persona and hang out with Kawakami by answering her text and choose not to give her a gift.
At school, answer with Soman for a knowledge plus one. Then after school, hang out with Makoto for answering her text. Choose that's unlike you when you can, then eco, then don't you have goals, then why do you use it, and finally, it's an amazing goal. In the evening, do some more laundry using Kawakami, then head over to the red light district in Shinjuku, make sure you have a fortune persona, and go talk to Chihaya. Choose to do a verification test, then hang out with her, then encourage her, then overturn your fate, and finally, open your mind to change. In the train, start reading Tidy in the Heart, and then in class, answer with they have the same flavor for a knowledge plus one. After school, head over to the underground mall in Shibuya and head to the flower shop for a shift and a kindness plus two. In the evening, feed your plant for a kindness plus three, then hang out with Kawakami by calling her on the payphone. Answer with want to rest a bit, then are you all right? And finally, don't overdo it. In school, answer with 180 degrees for a knowledge plus one. In the evening, hang out with Kawakami by answering her text. Again, choose not to give her a gift. In class, answer with Luciferin for a knowledge plus one. Then after school, head to the flower shop in Shibuya for a shift. Then pick a Scarlet Rose, a Gold Gibara, and a Gecko Orchid for a kindness plus three. In the evening, head to the Velvet Room to reclaim your persona. Once you do, you'll unlock the through one sentence trophy for learning a new persona skill through lockdown. Now be sure to have a Moon Persona on you, and then head to the Red Light District in Shinjuku and hang out with Mishima. Then answer with Great Idea, then we're part of the fandom, and finally, it's not your fault. In class, answer with Ishikawa Goemon for a knowledge plus one. After school, check your messages to get a request from Mishima. Now head to the school gate and listen to the students on the left. Now make sure you have an Emperor Persona and head to the underground walkway in Shibuya to hang out with Yusuke. When you can, answer with I should bring a girl here, and then love comes in all forms. Next, hang out with Shihaya by answering her text. When you can, answer with follow his heart, and thieves may steal her away. Answer with Novo Rich, then Gentleman Thief, then Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and finally he was boiled alive. Answer with it's not related to crabs and television. Answer with B4 size paper and together on senses. In the evening, hang out with Kawakami by answering her text. When you can, answer with don't pay them. Then think this through more. And finally, isn't there another way? When you receive an invitation from Anne, choose to commit. After the movie, answer with I get you, and then in the evening, head to the underground walkway for our weekly disgusting drink schedule from Knowledge Plus One. Now go hang out with Chihaya by answering her text, and choose to do a verification test. Choose to not give her a gift. After school, be sure to have a lover's persona, and then go hang out with Anne by answering her text. When you can, answer with why do you want to come here? Then she's gone, isn't she? Then hang in there. Now, this next choice is very important. If you pick you have the others, then you choose friendship with Anne. If you choose you have me, then you start a romantic relationship with Anne. Keep in mind there are multiple characters you can enter a romantic relationship with. Naturally, Anne is the one that resembles Mrs. Fruisky the most, so I am obviously going to pick Anne as my romantic partner. But it's up to you. If you do pick a romantic relationship, then you will unlock the My Best Partner trophy. If you pick friendship with Anne, then you obviously will get this trophy when you enter a romantic relationship with another character. Now in the evening, hang out with Chihaya by answering her text. Answer with, do you want to test it again? Then trust in yourself. Then that sounds so peaceful. And finally, I think it'll work. After the investigation, answer with custody. And then, is Futaba your daughter? While answering texts in the house, reply with how is living in this house, then why don't you go out, and finally, why do you think that? When you get to the palace, there isn't much you can really do here. Fill out the map if you wish, and then go into the pyramid. At home, feed your plant for a kindness plus three. Hang out with Makoto by answering her text. When you can, answer with he sounds suspicious, and then I got this, and then in the evening, hang out with Chihaya by answering her text. When you can, answer with you're such a hard worker, then but what, and finally, you're in trouble. Ignore the Vista and head over to the back streaks in Yongin Jaya. Head to the secondhand shop and buy the retro game set and the Gamble Goemon. Next, head to the underground mall in Shibuya and go hang out with Anne. Answer with let's go somewhere fun and pick Shibuya. By the way, here you can offer the Yuji Matcha Flan if you want, but you don't have to. In the evening, head over to the diner in Shibuya and as always, order the hot coffee for a Guts plus one and a Knowledge plus two. Head to the underground walkway in Shibuya and hang out with Yusuke. When you can, answer with do you want me to strip and then it doesn't look like it. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku and buy some mega fertilizer from the flower shop. I got three again, but just get what you can afford. Next, hang out with Chihaya. When you can, answer with I like fortune telling. And this has to be a joke. Then leave her alone. And finally, you're just Chihaya to me. At night, decline Mishima's invitation. Ain't nobody got time for that. 
Hang out with Anne by answering her text. Then answer with you really gave it your all. Then I'll be there with you. Then what's wrong? Then finally, I already am. In the evening, head over to the diner in Shibuya again and order the hot coffee for a guts plus one and a knowledge plus three. At night, you'll get an invitation from Makoto. Be sure to commit. Answer with not at all when you can. In the evening, interact with the TV in your room twice to set up your console. And I'll go hang out with Shihaya by answering her text. In the hideout menu, choose to exit, then check your equipment to make sure you have the best gear. Now head over to the airsoft shop in Shibuya, and if you're playing on safe, you know, go crazy. You should have plenty of money to afford everything you want. Buy all the updated clothes, all the updated weapons and accessories. Before you leave though, be sure to sell all your stuff that you don't need. If you want to, you can visit the clinic in Yonginjaya as well for healing items, but again, if you're playing on safe, you shouldn't really need them. But then again, if you can afford them, then get whatever you want. Next, head over to the red light district in Shinjuku and ask Chihai for a fortune reading. Pick lock reading, then I want to increase my charm, then do the same but choose money reading. Next head to the underground walkway in Shibuya and grab the weekly disgusting drink from Charm Plus 2. Now that the sexiness is unleashed, head over to the hideout in Yonginjaya and infiltrate the palace. As always ladies and gents, we're in a palace so explore as much of the map as you can. Remember to use L1 to grab those treasures. Shut up control, I'm making a guide. As far as party goes, you can choose whoever you want. I'm gonna go with Anne, Morgana and Makoto. Also remember to ambush every enemy you can, exploit enemy weaknesses, obtain any personas you don't have and use all out attacks on personas you do have. Especially since you'll get some extra cash from that portion as a special note for this dungeon, try and grind for 20 aluminium sheets, which is a rare drop from the Anzu enemy, and 10 liquid mercury, which is a rare drop from the Anubis enemy. We'll need these to create a specific tool. Okay, when you reach your first mini boss, just use gun attacks and all out attacks to make this fight a joke. When you're back in the pyramid, I'm not gonna lie, this palace can be pretty confusing to navigate. All I have to say is, if there's a red outline on the map, go to it to make sure you fully explored everything. When you reach the mini boss, just destroy it with wind attacks and all out attacks. Also, be sure to keep your health up so you don't die after getting rattled. Wow. Anyway, when you get to your first safe room, be sure to save. If you guys want to figure out the Anubis puzzle on your own, then skip to... Spoilers incoming. When you've seen both Anubis statues, go back to the one with the cursed gem, take it, and then give it to the Anubis that had no gem. Beware of enemies popping out though. You will find a locked chest, you know the drill, we'll be coming back for it. Be sure to save at the next safe room. When you reach the coffin puzzle, then skip to... to figure it out on your own. All you have to do here is have the coffin set up like this. You turn them on and off by interacting with their panels. After that, hit the button. The second puzzle should look like this. Then press the button multiple times. Be sure to save in the next safe room. You will find another two lock chest that we'll get to after. Be sure to save in the next safe room. When you face the mini boss, be sure to use a wind attack that hits every enemy and use all out attacks to make quick work of them. When you reach the end of the palace, it is up to you if you wanna stay and grind for those materials I mentioned in the beginning, or if you would just wanna go back. Keep in mind, you can also get these items in the next palace and also in mementos at some point. So, you know, as always, it's your call. When you're ready, head back to the entrance and save your game. Before we leave, head over to the velvet room, register your personas, now you need a Suki and a Kinky. Yeah, I know, weird names. If you haven't got a Suki, then you need to fuse an Orthrus with a Matador. If you don't have a Kinky, you need to fuse a Sandman with a Negimitama. If like me, you didn't have a Negimitama, then you have to fuse a High Pixie with an Elegor to get it. Now that you have them both, fuse them together to create an Ame no Yuzumi. And be sure to give it the Dodge Sai ability. Now show it to the twins. Finally, before you leave, make sure you have a Fortune Persona, an Emperor Persona, a Devil Persona, a Temperance Persona, a Hierophant Persona, a Death Persona, a Hangman Persona, a Sun Persona, Persona and a star persona. Now you can leave the palace. Head to the airsoft shop in Shibuya and sell all your treasure. Next, head to the diner and order the free tea for a charm plus one and a knowledge plus three. In the evening, go do the laundry and get Kawakami to do it. Then head to the red light district in Shinjuku and hang out with Mishima. Check your messages for two requests from Mishima. Now scum save away because it's time for the lock picking extravaganza. Yeah. Settle for no less than six this yeah. time. Get that sweet proficiency plus three. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku and hang out with Chihaya and answer with, I don't think so. Head to Central Street in Shibuya and buy all the books. There should at least be one new one. Now head over to the diner and order the fruit tea for a charm plus one and a knowledge plus three. In the evening, head to the bathhouse and choose to stay for a longer bath for a charm plus three. When you receive a text from Mishima, be sure to decline. Head downstairs and interact with the TV. When you can, answer with Joyride, but return the car for a knowledge plus one. Now head over to the clinic and hang out with Takemi. Answer with what about Miwa Chan, then I'm your ally, then and your patience, and finally what's his full name. In the evening, hang out with Chihaya by answering her text. Answer with how so, and then with tell me his name. At night, commit to hanging out with Yusuke. 
Answer with I don't mind when you can. In the evening, read the messages from Mishima for some more requests. Then head to the red light district in Shinjuku and go see Chihaya. Pick get a fortune reading, then affinity reading, then Ichiko Ohaya. Now go hang out with Ohaya by answering her text. Speak to the bartender first and answer with I want to work here part time. Then speak to her again and answer with I'll pass. Now talk to Ohaya and answer with she hasn't done anything wrong. Then don't tell anyone. And finally, our movie is about to start for a charm plus three. Head over to the red light district in Shinjuku and get another fortune reading from Chihaya. Choose affinity reading and then Ichiko Ohaya. Next head over to the flower shop in Shibuya to work a shift. When you can, answer with did something happen and then attack by who for a kindness plus two. In the evening, hang out with Kawakami by answering her text. When you can, answer with is this really what you want? Then if that's what you decided, then that's your answer. Then mistakes can be fixed. Then be confident in your answer. And finally, I want to protect you. Interact with the TV if you want to buy what they're offering, then head over to the red light district in Shinjuku to get a fortune reading by Chihaya. Pick fortune reading, and then pick I want to increase my proficiency. And now, well, it's Sunday. You know what happens on Sundays. Disgusting drink time over the underground walkway in Shibuya. Down it for a proficiency plus two, and now it's heart stealing time. Head to the hideout in Yongin Jaya. First choose view requests. There should be quite a few. And then after that, send that calling card. When you can, answer with will be honest. When you're at the palace, you can redo the palace for XP and material grinding if you want. Remember to use those tips as always. Now, if you want to go straight for the locked chest, then head to the corridor bottom and go through the door opposite the safe room into the chamber of rejection. The locked chest will be in this area of the map. As always, be careful because all enemies are on high alert. Next up, head to the corridor summit safe room and go into the door opposite to open the next lock chest. Then head to the chamber of sanctuary for the final lock chest. Now head back to the corridor summit and head through the huge door that was locked before. For this next section, my party consists of Anne, Makoto, and Morgana. When you reach the big bad boss, just like the others, it has phases. In this first phase, it will just fly around, so just use magic and gun attacks to hit it while keeping your health up. If you see it using rapid ascent, this is your cue to heal for two rounds and then guard with everyone. This phase isn't too hard, but it's more annoying than anything else. But either way, keep up this tactic and soon things will change. In the second phase, be sure to send Anne to the ballista and keep up the same tactic as the first phase until you hit it with the ballista. Once it falls, lay into it with everything you have. Keep this tactic up and you'll be done in no time. After the scenes, go to sleep. Head over to Big Bang Burger in Shibuya and choose to take the challenge for a Guts plus two, a Knowledge plus two, a Charm plus two, and a Proficiency plus two. In the evening, interact with the books at the counter and finish reading Tidying the Heart for a Proficiency plus three. Be sure to say because it's crafting time. You know what to do. We'll do the same as usual and try to get the max proficiency points. So be sure that one of the items you craft has a times two on it. I chose to craft lock picks until I had a total of four. Then I made stealth and all, then covetizer, then a vanish ball, and finally a spotlight. Again, be sure to get proficiency plus three. If you don't, reload the save until you do. In the evening, head to the airsoft shop in Shibuya and pick, I looked inside the bag. Then answer with, I want to see more. Then a gun customization guru. Then this sounds suspicious. Then what's your goal here? And finally, I'll do what I can. Interact with your plant and feed it for a kindness plus three. Now save your game because it's crafting time again. Like last time, try and craft something times two for max proficiency points. This time I crafted an element set, a forces set, a smoke screen, and two stealth and all. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku and hang out with Mishima. Check Mishima's message for a request. Now head to the diner in Shibuya and order the nostalgic steak for a kindness plus one and a knowledge plus three. In the evening, hang out with Yoshida by answering his text. Answer with you should decline when you can. Then he'll get elected this time. And finally, I still believe in him for a charm plus three. Head over to the convenience store in Shibuya to work a shift. When you can, answer with what's wrong. Then what about the police? Then do you know his name? And finally, it'll all work out. Then answer Morgana with let's do something about it. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku. Get your fortune read by Chihaya. Choose affinity reading and then Ichiho Ohaya. Now go hang out with Ohaya by answering her text. When you can, answer with because of your incident. Then you can trust me. Then what was the cause of death? And finally, that's unforgivable. All right, we're going to go and become Master Craftsman again, so go ahead and save your game and craft whatever you want. I crafted a ton of Vanish Balls because that's all I could do with the materials I had left. But either way, when you're done, you will get a Proficiency plus three. And then in the evening, save again and then head to the bathhouse. Make sure you get the option to stay longer for max charm points. If you don't, reload the save and try again. When you're done, you'll get a charm right. plus three. Head to the red light district in Shinjuku, get a fortune reading by Chihaya, get a lock reading, then pick I want to increase my guts. Then get another fortune reading, get affinity reading, and then Ichiko Ohaya. Next head to the bookstore and buy the books you don't already own. Next head to the underground walkway in Shibuya for our weekly routine of nasty liquids for a guts plus two. Now head to Big Bang Burger and take the challenge for a guts plus three, a knowledge plus three, 
charm plus three, and a proficiency plus three. In the evening, check the TV in your room if you want to buy what they're offering. And I head to the airsoft shop in Shibuya and answer with, I want to work. Then maybe I should call him, then nothing in particular. And finally, what should I do now for a proficiency plus two? Head to the red light district in Shinjuku to get another fortune reading, pick Affinity Reing, then Ichiko Ahaya. Now head to the underground walkway in Shibuya and hang out with Yusuke. When you can, answer with it feels nostalgic, then we should get it fixed, then are you okay, and finally maybe he was sympathetic. In the evening hang out with Ahaya by answering her text, then answer with having trouble at work, then he must not like you, then you should trust in her, and finally that's the spirit. Head to the diner in Shibuya and order the nostalgic steak for a kindness plus one and a knowledge plus three. In the evening, head over to the red light district in Shinjuku and get a fortune reading from Chihaya. Pick affinity reading and then Ichiko Ohaya. Now head back to Cafe Le Blanc in Yongin Jaya, speak to the pompous male customer until he leaves, and then hang out with Sojiro. Answer with tell me more when you can, and then call Sojiro's phone for a kindness plus three. Head to the red light district in Shinjuku. I know, it's becoming a pattern, but trust me, it's needed. Get a fortune reading from Chihaya and pick lock reading. Then I want to increase my knowledge and get another fortune reading, but this time pick affinity reading and then Yusuke Kitagawa. Maga hang out with Yusuke by answering his text. When you can, answer with you should meet up with him. Then what do you mean? And finally, the truth is within you. In the evening, head over to Kanda and speak to the Shogi playing student. Answer with Hifumi-chan, then playing Shogi at a church, then Asuka, then can you teach me Shogi, then I admire you, then I don't know how to play, then I can still keep going, then sorry I'm a beginner, and finally sounds good for knowledge plus two. Head over to the diner in Shibuya and order the nostalgic steak for a kindness plus one and a knowledge plus three. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku to get a fortune reading from Chihaya, pick affinity reading, and then Sojuro Sakura. Now go hang out with Ahaya by answering her text. Answer with could it be when you can, then let's think of another way, and finally you're charming as you are for a charm plus three. Head to the red light district in Shinjuku to get a fortune reading by Chihaya, then choose affinity reading, and then Yusuke Kitagawa. Then go hang out with Yusuke by answering his text. When you can, pick it has to be Anne, and then you've really grown Yusuke. In the evening, go hang out with Ohaya, and when you can, answer with you seem tired, and then what's the chief's name? Head to the red light district in Shinjuku once again to get your fortune read by Chihaya. Then pick affinity reading, followed by Sojuro Sakura. Now head over to Big Bang Burger in Shibuya again and take the challenge again for a guts plus three. In the evening, go hang out with Yoshida by answering his text, then answer with that's a different decision, then stick to your beliefs, followed by so what if you're right for a charm plus three. When you can, answer with House Futaba, then they'll heal on their own, then Medjed, then eliminate them, followed by I'll explain later. When you can, head to bed. When you can, answer with something great happened, then later on when you can, pick good luck. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku, I'm kinda getting sick of saying this, to get a fortune reading from Chihaya. Then pick affinity reading, followed by Yusuke Kitagawa. Get a fortune reading again, but this time pick luck reading, followed by I want to increase my knowledge. Next, head to Kanda and hang out with Hifumi. Then answer with that's interesting, then have confidence in yourself, then finally, you don't want to, right? For a knowledge plus two. When you can, pick you seem confident, and then we'll all be there too. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku to get a fortune reading, pick affinity reading, and then use Kitagawa. Now go hang out with Iwai by answering his text. When you can, answer with I know how that feels, then I always knew you were a thug, then we made a deal, didn't we? And finally, is that one of your customers for a proficiency plus two? In the evening, guess what? Head to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading by Chihaya. Pick lock reading, and then I want to increase my knowledge. Now go hang out with Hifumi by answering her text. Choose describes you perfectly, and then having a difficult time for a knowledge plus two. Answer with experience is important when you can, then you okay, and finally take that thing off. In the evening, hang out with Yoshida by answering his text, then answer with do your best, and then you had a change of heart. Answer with go for it Ryuji when you can, and then in the evening feed your plant for a kindness plus three. Now head over to Crossroads in Shinjuku and speak to the bartender for a shift. Answer however you want, and speak to the downcast woman when you get the chance for a kindness plus two. In the evening, head over to the Crossroads again in Shinjuku, and speak to the bartender again for a shift. Once again, speak to the downcast woman for a kindness plus two. Answer with that surprising when you can, and then I agree. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku to get a fortune reading from Chihaya, pick lock reading, and then I want to increase my kindness. Now head over to the underground walkway in Shibuya for the weekly nasty drink routine for a kindness plus two. Next, go hang out with Yoshida by answering his text. Then answer with your true self was revealed for a charm plus three. 
Answer with I won't leave her side when you can, and then in the evening go hang out with Hifumi by answering her text. Then answer with must have been the katsu curry, and then they're cool. When you're with Morgana, answer with bad dream, and then are you okay? Then you're already weird, and finally, yeah. Head to Jimbocho and buy the book. Next, head over to Big Bang Burger and take the challenge again for a Guts plus three. In the evening, hang out with Sojiro and answer with, I think I'm addicted. Then she wasn't normal, huh? And finally, it really paid off in the end for a kindness plus three. Answer with you want me to come when you can, and then he's demanding sushi. When in Akihabara, answer however you wish, but be sure to choose, is this a deal when you can? In the evening, head to bed. At lunchtime, answer with we're talking here, then you can't give up, and finally, what are their names again? In the evening, hang out with Sojiro, then answer with to each his own, then shut your mouth, and finally, saving Futaba was no mistake for kindness plus three. After school, head over to the back streets in Yong and Jaya and buy the broken laptop from the second hand shop. Next, head to Electric Town in Akihabara and head into the machine parts shop. Here, buy the PC tool set. Then, head up to the retro game shop and buy everything you can. Next up, head to the red light district in Shinjuku to get in a fortune reading from Chihaya. Pick affinity reading and then Sojiro Sakura. Now, go hang out with Yusuke by answering his text. Answer with her love for her son and then you've really changed Yusuke. In the evening, head over to your toolbox and choose to fix a broken laptop for a proficiency plus two. At school, answer with nothing for a knowledge plus one. And in the evening, check out the laptop you repaired and sign up. I chose to use Joker, but you know, you do you. And buy everything available when you can. And since you've started a spending spree, let's carry it on. Head over to Red Light District in Shinjuku to get a fortune reading from Chihaya. Pick affinity reading and then Hifumi Togo. Now go hang out with Iwai by answering his text. When you can, answer with it's none of your business. Then, so that was Tsuda, a 100 million yen deal. And finally, where's my reward for a proficiency plus two? Alrighty, head to the red light district in Shinjuku to get a fortune reading, pick affinity reading, and then Minushiza Iwai. Then get another fortune reading and pick lock reading, followed by I want to increase my knowledge. Now that your lock is in tip top shape, head over to the underground walkway in Shibuya for our weekly nasty drink and for a knowledge plus two. Next head to the arcade and talk to the angry gamer and answer with the cheer. Now be sure to head to the velvet room, register your personas here, and now use the electric chair option for the sublime experiment trophy. Before you leave, be sure to have a hermit persona with you. Okay, now go hang out with Futaba by answering her text, then answer with you did well Futaba, then that's a great idea, then if we work together, and finally sounds good to me. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku, but head to the flower shop. Aha! But you didn't see that coming. Anyway, buy five mega fertilizers, and now go hang out with Iwai by answering his text. Answer with why not, then you're pathetic, and finally, I'll stick around for the gums for proficiency plus two. After school, head to the library and borrow Cry of Cthulhu, then head to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading. Pick affinity reading, and then Munishiza Iwai. Now you can go hang out with Futaba by answering her text. Answer with I was about to come find you, and then good to see you again. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku again for another fortune reading. This time, pick lock reading, and then I will increase my kindness. Now head over to the diner in Shibuya and order the nostalgic steak for a kindness plus two and a knowledge plus two. In school, answer with chronostasis for a knowledge plus one. After school, head to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading and pick money reading. Now that the ka-ching multiplier is sky high, head over to the hideout in Yongin Jaya, pick view requests, we'll have a huge amount of them, so be patient and go through them, and then choose to explore mementos. Be sure you take an Anzu with you and be sure to level it up to level 28 so it can learn the skill Dekaja. I'll remind you again that mementos is like a palace, so be sure to use all my tips. And in this mementos run, ignore any lock chests. We're saving the lock picks for the next palace. Also, on a side note, now that you have Futaba in the gang, she will constantly speak some lines whilst you're in battle. It will appear in the top right corner, but this will only count when you're in battle. When she says something outside of battle, it will not count for the counter. There is a trophy attached to this, so I've attached the link down below to show you most of the lines. I suggest you write down the ones she's already said, so you can track the trophy properly. You need to listen to 250 different lines. Okay, finally remember to exploit enemy weaknesses, explore the areas fully, ambush every enemy you can, use all out attacks on the personas you already have, and try to obtain every persona you don't have. You most probably have most, if not all of these trophies associated with these tips, but it just makes the game easier as well. Anyway, run mementos from the beginning like I am, because some targets are in areas we've already explored. When you can, be sure to save at the rest point, and when you reach your first target, use bless attacks for an easy win. 
or just, you know, pound it to death. When you reach your second target, use whatever you can since it has no weaknesses. When you reach the third target, use physical attacks because this guy resists a lot of elemental attacks. And save at the next rest area. Then when you reach your fourth target, use fire attacks on the female persona and psychic attacks on the male persona for an easy win. When you reach the fifth target, dispatch it however you want since it has no weaknesses. And when you reach the sixth target, destroy it with fire and all out attacks. When you reach the seventh target, use ice attacks and all out attacks. When you reach the eighth target, pound away however you want. It has no weaknesses. And be sure to save at the next rest area and head to Memento's entrance to visit the Velvet Room. Register your personas and your Anzu should be at level 28 by now. If it's not, go to Memento's and get it to level 28. Okay, so all the personas I will list here you should already have if you've been obtaining all the personas you can, like you should. If not, refer to the persona guide below to find out how you're going to get them. The first thing you want to do is fuse the Anzu with a Kadama and a Sudama to create a Neko Shogun. Then be sure to give it Dekaja. Now give it to the twin. Next, fuse a Sandman with a Lamia to create a Principality. It should already have to Tetraja, then fuse it with a Yaxini to create an Ame no Uzume, and make sure you give it Tetraja. Finally, fuse the Ame no Uzume with an Isis to create a Lachesis, and be sure to give it Tetraja, and finally give it to the twins. Okay, now you can head back to where you were and carry and explore mementos. When you reach the 8th target, use Bless Attacks to pulverize it. When you reach the 9th target, blow him away with Wind Attacks. Then on the 10th target, shock him with Electric Attacks, and be sure to save at the next rest area. When you reach the 11th target, do whatever you want. Then leave mementos, and when you get home, go to sleep. Here you can choose whoever you want to hang out with. I went with Anne since she's my girlfriend, so you know, it's only fair. Answer however you want here, but try and keep it positive for maximum points. When you regain control, be sure to feed your plant for a kindness plus three, then head to bed. At school, answer with the 19th century for knowledge plus one, then go to sleep when you can. Alright people, we're in a palace, so follow those sexy Fruski tips for an easy time. You can choose whichever party you want, and when you're home, answer with I don't think so, then head to bed. At school, answer with a cap for a knowledge plus one, and after school, you can answer with your vital to our team. In the evening, answer with let's do it together when you can. Now head to bed. Head to the arcade in Shibuya and speak to the people there. Next, head to the electric town in Akihabara and head to the arcade. When you can, answer with teach me some tricks. Then there's an invincible player. Then I don't let the bad guys win. And they came to my school. Then let's make a deal. Then let's do it. And finally, what's your name? Now head back to the back streets in Yonginjaya. Speak to Futaba and pick we could send him a calling card. Then head back to the arcade in Akihabara. Speak to Shinya and pick contact her. Then through a secret exchange. And then it's a deal for a kindness plus three. In the evening, examine your work desk and check on shady commodities. Buy everything that you don't already have, and then go do some laundry and have Kawakami do it for you. Now head to the red light district in Shinjuku and head to the Velvet Room. Be sure you have a star persona, a priestess persona, a temperance persona, a death persona, a moon persona, an emperor persona, a hang persona, a tower persona, a hermit persona, a fortune persona, and a devil persona. Then go get a fortune reading from Chihaya and pick luck reading, and then I want to increase my knowledge. Now go hang out with Hifumi by answering her text. When you can, answer which she's scary, and then you should stop then for a knowledge plus two. Go hang out with Makoto by answering her text, then answer with love comes in many forms, then here, have mine instead. Then finally, no, you're being considerate. In the evening, hang out with Kawakami by using the yellow payphone, choose nonsense when you can, then thank you for your service, then I want to keep seeing you. So again, the next answer is very important. Personally, in this playthrough, I'm only going to choose to have one girlfriend, but you know, as always, it's up to you. If you want to be a player, go ahead. I answer with got it for a friendship relationship. If you want a romance, then choose the other answer. At school, answer with Czechoslavia for a knowledge plus one. And after school, head over to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading from Chihaya. Pick lock reading, then I want to increase my guts. Next, head over to the clinic in Yonginjaya and hang out with Takemi. Answer with Miwa-chan is alive, then let's get to work, doctor. And finally, it's for Miwa-chan. In the evening, hang out with Kawakami by answering her text. Answer with I'm glad to hear that, then same goes for you. Then what are you talking about? And finally, so what if I am? Followed by, I'll make sure of it. At night, decline Mishima's invitation. We're busy people. Head to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading. Choose lock reading, followed by I want to increase my knowledge. Now head to the school gate at Aoyama Ichome and hang out with Makoto. Answer with do you think he likes you? Then he's definitely suspicious. Then who was their leader? Then he was a noble man. Then that's admirable, followed by you can figure that out now. And finally, I'm game if you are. In the evening, check your work desk and pick Lex check shady communities. Then buy everything that you don't have again. After that, check your TV and answer with 10 years in prison for a knowledge plus two. After that, do some laundry and choose to call Kawakami. 
Kami. Now head to Electric Town in Akihabara and hang out with Mishima. Answer with you sure are fired up, then rumors are wrong all the time, followed by why, and finally, absolutely. Nice job. In your free time at school, choose to read and then pick Cry of Cthulhu. After school, go hang out with Yusuke by answering his text, answer with it turned out well, then you provoked Yusuke on purpose, then he, then that was another aspect of him, and finally, yeah. In the evening, go hang out with Ohaya by answering her text, answer with he reflected on his actions, then did I? Can't remember. Then thank God, and finally, that's not like you. In the train, choose to read Cry of Cthulhu for a guts plus three, and then at school, answer with So It Shows Up Well on TV. After school, head to the library and borrow Woman in the Dark. Next, go hang out with Makoto by answering her text. Answer with He Says That to All His Girls, and then Absolutely. In the evening, head to the Red Light District in Shinjuku to get a fortune reading from Chihaya, pick Affinity reading, and then Hifumi Togo. Now go hang out with Hifumi by answering her text. Answer with Is That Frustrating? and then Do What You Love. Buy what the TV is offering if you want, now head to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading. Pick affinity reading and then Hifumi Togo. Next head to the school gate in Ayoma Ichome to hang out with Makoto. Speak to the irritated promoter outside the bookstore and answer with do you know Tsukasa? Then I'm not, then your fights with me, then follow me, then that was the right move, then I'm a regular here and finally you'll find someone someday for friendship. Again if you want romance then pick the other option. In the evening head to the airsoft shop and hang out with Iwai. Answer with why would he say that? Then you should ask him, then girls and finally you should buy us something. After school, go hang out with Shinya by answering his text, then answer with don't compare me to you, then what a rude employee, then do you admire them, followed by I'll let them know for a kindness plus three. In the evening, go hang out with Hifumi by answering her text, answer with it may come down to luck, and then I believe in you. After school, head to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading by Chihaya, choose affinity reading, then Ichiko Ohaya, now go hang out with Makoto by answering her text. Answer with that's incredible when you can, then are you stressing over exams, and that sounds difficult, and finally your father would be proud. Then we went through so much, and finally just be careful okay? In the evening go hang out with Ohaya by answering her text, answer with did you learn the truth when you can, then you're not giving up are you, then I can't leave you, then of course not, and finally I didn't take it seriously for a friendship. Again, if you want romance choose the other option. In the train, choose to read Woman in the Dark, then in school, answer with Phantom, then Vibration, and then Syndrome. After school, head to the Red Light District in Shinjuku for a fortune reading, pick Affinity reading, and then Ichiko Ohaya. Next, go hang out with Futaba by answering her text, answer with Let's do this together when you can, then no, you're talented, and finally, I think it's cute. In the evening, head to Electric Town in Akihabara and hang out with Mishima. Answer with You're so reliable, then sounds pretty twisted, then this isn't like you, then are you feeling guilty, then let's go, then would that really satisfy you, and finally, there's no need. At school, answer with Fisherman of Nagaragawa, then after school head to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading, pick affinity reading, then Munishiza Iwai. Now go hang out with Shinya by answering his text. Answer with let's go eat when you can, then okay, then are they bullying you, and finally that's the spirit for a kindness plus three. In the evening interact with the TV and answer with divulging someone's crimes, then head upstairs to feed your plant for a kindness plus three. Let's go do some laundry and have Kawakami do it for you. Now head over to the red light district in Shinjuku and hang out with Chihaya. Answer with I know when you can, then it's because you're strong and finally, hell yeah I am. In your free time in school, choose to read so we can finish off Woman in the Dark for proficiency plus three, and after school head to the library to return the book. Next head to the clinic in Young and Jaya and hang out with Takemi. Answer with it was rough, then in your patience, and finally it was for my exams for the friendship route. In the evening go hang out with Ahaya by answering her text, pick you two are on good terms, then you're really earnest, and I'm glad to hear that, and finally, about what, followed by, so you knew all along. After school, head to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading, pick affinity reading, and then Shinya Oda. Now you can go hang out with Shinya by answering his text. When you can, answer with, yeah, you tell him, and then get your revenge. In the evening, go hang out with Mishima by answering his text, answer with, I don't want to change his heart, then you still care about fame, and finally, maybe the fan site. When you get a message from Futaba, be sure to decline. Interact with the TV if you want to buy what they're selling, and then head over to the red light district in Shinjuku to get a fortune reading. Pick affinity reading, and then Tai Takemi. Now head to Big Bang Burger in Shibuya and take the challenge again for a guts plus three. In the evening, head to the airsoft shop in Shibuya and hang out with Iwai. When you can, answer with absolutely, then he's clever, and finally, are you going alone? 
At school, answer with three watermelons in the sun, and then after school, head to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading by Chihaya. Pick affinity reading, then tie to Kemi. I go hang out with Butaba by answering her text. Answer with, he's in my class. Then I think you're right, and finally, he's the protagonist. In the evening, head to Big Bang Burger and take the challenge again for a guts plus three. After school, head to Central Street in Shibuya, head to the bookstore and buy everything you can. Now head to the library in Oyame Chome, pick a table and read Master Swordsman. In the evening, head to the Red Light District in Shinjuku for a fortune reading, pick affinity reading and then Shinya Oda. Now that you're here, hang out with Chihaya. Answer with listen to what Chihaya is saying here. Then, well, fate can be changed. And finally, I like having my fortune read for the friendship path. In school, choose to read, then pick Master Swordsman. After school, head over to the Red Light District in Shinjuku for a fortune reading by Chihaya. Pick Money Reading, and then get another fortune reading, but this time pick Affinity Reading, and then tie to Kemi. Next, check your equipment to see if you have the best items equipped. Then after that, head to the Airsoft Shop in Shibuya and buy the latest armor and weapons. And finally, sell what you don't need. Now that we're fully prepared, let's head over to the palace by answering our text. Then pick Infiltrate Palace. As always, remember those sexy Peruski tips. You should know them by now since they're making the game so easy for you. And as always, choose whichever party you want. When you reach your first mini boss, use psychic attacks on the main enemy and fire attacks on the minions for an easy win. Save when you get to the first safe room and then save again in the next safe room. When you reach the next mini boss, the red one by the way, use nuke on the main enemy and fire on the minions for an easy win. Next mini boss fight after that, use wind attacks on the main enemy and fire on the minions. On the next mini boss, use fire on the minions and psychic attacks on the main enemy. Be sure to save at the next safe room and then save again in the safe room after this one. Open the locked chest when you come across it and save at the next safe room when you can. Be sure to open the locked chest you come across and then in the next mini boss fight just destroy them with ice attacks and it'll be over faster than these guys lunch breaks by the way let me just add haru your dad's a c while I was running this palace, I unlocked the Countless Master Trophy for obtaining 30 Personas through negotiation. You should also have this by now, but if not, keep obtaining Personas you don't have through negotiation and you will soon have it. Save in the next save room. All right, you can go ahead and skip to... If you want to figure out the portal puzzles yourself, just remember to save in the save room between the two puzzles. Now, from where you start off, head through the North Portal. Then through the right portal here, switch the Omega 1 to blue. Now go through the south portal, be sure the Omega is still blue. Then go through the middle portal to head north. Now head back the same way you came from. When you reach the next switches, turn the alpha blue, then go west, and then head through the north portal and activate the orange alpha. Head back to these switches to turn the Omega 1 blue, and go all the way to the west through the portal to go north. Here turn the alpha switch blue, then head west through the portal, then north through the portal. Okay. Be sure to save in the next safe room, and then in this next puzzle room where you are, go north, then go east, here head all the way to the end, and go through the green portal. Now follow the green portals, then head to the far east to go north, then you have to go west, then go east twice, at the console change the omega to blue, then go back south, then use the middle portal to go north, then to the far east, now north, then on the switches make sure the omega is blue, then go north through the orange portal, then make sure the alpha is orange, then head south through the green portal, then head south, then follow this path until you can go west to the the exit. Open the next lock chest you find and then save at the safe room. After the scenes head to the side entrance, head to the velvet room to register your personas and then be sure to have a death persona, an empress persona, a hierophant persona, a hermit persona, a tower persona, a star persona and a hang persona. Now you can exit the palace. In the evening use the yellow payphone and pick I want a massage. Now head over to Kanda and hang out with Hifumi. Answer with what do you mean when you can, then that won't work, then let's make a reconsider and finally what's your mother's name. In the train, choose to finish off Master Swordsman for a guts plus three, and then in class, answer with guillotine. After school, go hang out with Shihia by answering his text. When you can, answer with it was pretty weird, then I'm sure you can do it, and finally, you need a new strategy. In the evening, go hang out with Chihaya by answering her text. Answer with you've changed, then it's never too late, and finally, I support you. From here, pick whatever you want. After school, head over to Electric Town in Akihabara, then buy everything from the Retro Game Shop. Next, head to the library in Aoyama Ichome, pick a table and read Ghost Encounters. In the evening, head to Electric Town in Akihabara and hang out with Mishima. Answer with, I'm not leaving, then believe in yourself, and finally, wait, that was all an act. After school, read Mishima's text for a request, then go hang out with Shinya by answering his text. Answer with, if you insist, then you're acting like one, then I believe in you, followed by, not at all. In the evening, interact with the books on the bar and pick Ghost Encounters from Guts Plus 3. At nighttime, be sure to decline Mishima's invitation. Head to Jimbocho and buy all the books you can. All right, time to send out the calling card. Head to the hideout in Yonginjaya and choose send calling card. In the evening, make some tools. Try and make tools you haven't made before to progress towards a trophy. Personally, I crafted the limelight and some hypno mist. 
All right, I recommend you grind for 20 aluminium sheets. These are dropped by the Girim and Kala or the huge elephant enemy. You're gonna need them for a specific tool. Once you've done that, head over to weapon production for a good old boss fight. In the first phase, hammer away at the workers. Blue workers are weak to fire. Yellow workers are weak to ice. Red workers are weak to electric. Big blue workers are weak to wind. And the green workers are weak to psychic. It shouldn't take you too long to dispatch these. In the second phase, hit the boss with everything you have since it has no weaknesses. The only thing I'll say is be sure to be fully healed and guard when you see the big bank order. It's gonna hurt when it hits. Keep with that strategy and before long, you should have this wrapped up. Oh yeah, there's also a time limit. But you should have plenty of time. In school, answer with A. After school, head to the Velvet Room in Shibuya. Fuse an Isis with a Kinky to create a Unicorn. Now fuse the Unicorn with a Lilim to create a Hecaton Cherries. God, that's a mouthful. And be sure to give it Masakunda. Then give it to the twins. Next, head to the library in Ayoma Ichome. Pick a table and read Call Me Chief. In the evening, hang out with Sojiro. Answer with, you might be right. Then do you want to talk? And finally, you should tell him that. After school, go hang out with Shinya. Answer with bad influence, then think about his feelings, followed by I haven't done anything, and finally, what's your mom's name? In the evening, head to Electric Town in Akihabara and I hang out with Mishima. Answer with you showed some real courage, then something like that, and finally, this came out of nowhere, followed by eh. Head to the red light district in Shinjuku to get a fortune reading from Chihaya. Pick affinity reading followed by Tai Takemi. Now go hang out with Takemi by answering her tech. Here you can answer with whatever you want. And then in the evening, go hang out with Sojiro and answer with something with Kori. And then I was just protecting Futaba. At school, answer with name of the one who proposed it. Then a doctor followed by it could execute people quickly. Answer with it has 32 faces and then slave labor. Answer with Phantom Vibration System, and then the Imperial Household Agency. Answer with Yeah, that happened, followed by Is that really true? At school, answer with five, and then in the evening, head to Big Bang Burger and take the challenge for the last time. You will gain a Guts plus three, and also unlock the True Talent Trophy for maxing out all social stats. Head over to the airsoft shop in Shibuya and go hang out with Iwai. Answer with I did it all for Iwai and then I want to help you, followed by what's his full name. In class, answer with it's meaningless. Shortly after that, you will unlock the Mask of Honor student trophy for ranking first place in your exams. In the evening, speak to any customers so they leave and then choose to read from the bar and pick Call Me Chief. Choose whoever you want to spend time with here. I chose Anne, of course. In the evening, answer with don't blame Futaba. Then when did you notice? And sorry for keeping quiet, followed by I'm a phantom thief. And finally, that's not true. The only dialogue you really need to choose is what else can you dig up? Everything else, answer however you wish. Okay, so now that you have Crow in your party, we're gonna go grind for a trophy. It shouldn't be too hard, and if you've been following the tips, you should already have most lines anyway. So first things first, save your game here. Also, I'd recommend you save your game in a different slot as well, just in case you accidentally overwrite your save. I've done it myself, it's easily done. Now what you wanna do is head to the hideout in Yongin Jaya, pick few requests, and then choose to go to explore mementos. Now that you're here, what you wanna do is grind for Futaba's 250 lines, or if you've been keeping track, the lines that you're missing. Again, I've linked the lines down below. Take as long as you need, just make sure you don't overwrite your save. Also keep in mind you can grind this out later on. I just found it easier with Cronia Party as well, since it's extra lines that she says, but as always, it's up to you. When and if you heard Futaba's 250 lines, you will unlock the passionate listener trophy. Now you can reload your save. Now save your game again. We're gonna tackle another trophy. This one's gonna take a few days, so don't worry. Just be sure you make a backup save again in case you overwrite your file. Now first thing you wanna do is choose to read and then pick the fish pond spotter book. Then when you can, head over to Ichigaya and choose to fish. Practice in this first run so you get a feel for the controls. I found tapping X is a lot easier than holding X. After that, head to the red light district in Shinjuku and head to the bookstore to buy the essence of fishing book. Now head back to Cafe Le Blanc in Yongin Jaya, choose to read and pick the essence of fishing so you get the third eye while fishing. And when you can, head back to Ichigaya to fish some more. Be sure to use all the bait you have and keep doing this until you rack up 400 points. Once you do, buy the top class boilie and leave. Now make another backup save in case the guardian doesn't show up. Now head back to Ichigaya and start fishing using all the bait you have. Buy some more if you don't have any. Also try and catch rare fish, aka the shiny ones, whilst you're waiting for the guardian to respawn. And once it does spawn, you can't miss it, it'll be shiny yellow. Use the top class boilie. If the guardian doesn't spawn, reload the save until it does 
or you can wait until there's a rainy day since it's easier for it to spawn. Either way, when it does spawn, be sure to wait until it's on its own since top class boilie will attract every single fish and try and lure it as close to you as you can because the closer it is to you, the less you have to tap. Once you do catch him, you will unlock the Guardian of the Plum Trophy. Now you can reload your save so we can go back to normal. Okay, go downstairs and talk to Sodro and answer with great. Next up, make sure you have a persona that can repel physical attacks and head to the back streets in Yongin Jaya, or, you know, leave the cafe, and then go hang out with Butaba. When you reach the mini boss, just pound away with physical attacks. If the boss uses any, it will repel against it. Before long, the fight should be over, and you can pick whichever dialogue you want. In the evening, hang out with Sodro, answer with its great, and then you have a great daughter. In your free time at school, choose to read and pick Call Me Chief to finish it off. After school, head to Jinbocho and buy the book available there. Next, head over to the airsoft shop in Shibuya and choose to customize. I chose Anne's Gun since it has the best return, but again, you can choose whichever one you want. Once you do this, you will unlock the Under the Table Goods Trophy for customizing a gun. Next, head to the entrance in Aoyame Chome, head to the vending machine here and buy all the drinks. You should be buying Ultimate Azamaki, Second Maid, Manta and Earl Green. Then go to the school gate and do the same here. You should be buying O oh, Shiruko, Joylent, Mad Ball, Muscle Tea, and Udugawa Water. Next, head to the courtyard and do the same here. You should be buying Dr. Salt Neo, Arginade, and Water of Rebirth. Now head to the back streets in Yongin Jaya and buy all the drinks from the vending machine there. You should be buying Nasty, One Up, Starvix, Darian Olart, and Chunky Potage. Now head to the red light district in Shinjuku and do the same here. You should be buying Creature. Finally, head to Electric Town in Akihabara and do the same here. You should be buying Udagawa Soda, Mystery Stew, Strawberry Curry, Mayo Locust, Miso Starfish, Muscle Drink, Odd Morsel, and Rancid Gravy. Once you've bought them all, you will unlock the Drink Fanatic Trophy for buying every kind of drink from a vending machine. Next, go to the rooftop in Oyami Chome to hang out with Haru. In the evening, hang out with Sojiro and answer with what for, and then thank you. After school, go hang out with Shinya by answering his text. After giving him the calling card, answer with, is that what you think? Then believe in them, then wait a step up, and finally let's save her. In the evening, talk to any customers until they leave, and then choose to read and pick Reckless Casanova. On the train, choose to read Reckless Casanova again, and at school, answer with Thieves Can, and then pick View Requests, and then explore Mementos. If you don't have the Passionate Listener Trophy yet, then go ahead and work towards it. As always, treat Mementos like a palace, so be sure to use those tips. Again, I start from the beginning of Mementos like last time, and again, I recommend you do the same. When you reach the first level, since the enemies are super weak, use Haru's gun to take out three enemies to unlock the skill gunman trophy. You get this for defeating three enemies or more at once with a single round of bullets. For another trophy, wait until you have a group of enemies with a weakness that two characters can exploit, pass the baton and exploit the weakness the second time. Since the enemies are so weak, it should be way over 999 the second time you attack. Once you do, you unlock the ultimate strike trophy for dealing over 999 damage in a single attack. Now carry on exploring mementos as normal. Be sure to save at every rest point you find, and when you reach your first target, hit it with whatever you can since it has no weaknesses. When you reach the second target, destroy it with electric attacks and all out attacks for an easy win. When you reach the third target, the game pretty much tells you what to do. Then when you reach the fourth target, use blessed attacks to cleanse it. Be sure to save at the next rest area. Then when you reach the path of Axerius, around areas 10 to 11, be sure to grind for at least 10 liquid mercury if you haven't already. They're a rare drop from the Anubis enemy. It may take a while, but you'll need it for a trophy. When you find the fifth target, be sure to use whatever you can since it has no weaknesses. Save in the next rest area, and then save again in the next rest area. When you reach the sixth target, burn it with fire for an easy time. Now head as far down in momentous as you can. Before you leave, head to the Velvet Room. Be sure to register your personas, then fuse a Sandman with a Taka Minakata to create a Hariti. Then then fuse the Hariti with a Pixie and a Pisaka to create a bug. Then be sure to give it a Samarakan. If you don't have that skill on your list, just itemize a unicorn. Now give the bugs to the twins. And before you leave, be sure to have a Star Persona, a Tau Persona, and a Hank Persona. Now go ahead and leave Mementos. In the evening, be sure to call Kawakami on the yellow payphone and ask for a massage, and then head to Kanda and hang out with Hifumi. Answer with, I'm glad her heart changed, and then, what are you talking about? Head to the arcade in Akihabara and go hang out with Shinya. Answer with I'm glad to hear that. Then it means you've matured and finally he wants to win at all costs. In the evening, head over to Akihabara in Electric Town and hang out with Mishima. Answer with did you find your answer? Then that was courageous and finally nobody stole your heart. In class, answer with the Holy Grail. Then after school, hang out with Shinya by answering his text. Answer with thanks to my teacher. Then you made things right and finally ask them yourself. In the evening, choose to read and then pick Reckless Casanova to finish it off. 
the train read Chinese sweets, and then in your free time at school, choose to read again and pick Fish Pond Spotter. After school, head to Jinbocho and buy the speed reading book. Let's go to Cafe Le Blanc and Young and Jaya and hang out with Futaba. Answer with that must have been a shock, and then you didn't know any better. Followed by understood. In the evening, head to the red light district in Shinjuku and get a fortune reading from Chihaya. Pick a fantasy reading and then Hifumi Togo. Now go hang out with Yuai by answering his text. Answer with I don't know, and then I guess I could consider it. Later on, when you get an invitation, be sure to decline. Interact with the TV if you want to buy what they're offering. Now head to the red light district in Shinjuku for another fortune reading, pick a fantasy reading, and then Hifumi Togo. Now head to the cafe LeBlanc in Young and Jaya and go hang out with Futaba again. Answer with what horrible parents, and then I'll do it for you. In the evening, choose to read and pick Theme Park Escort, then Shitamachi Reborn, then Musty Pages, then Weekend Park, then Nightlife Hotspots, and finally Speed Reading. Head to the red light district in Shinjuku for yet another fortune reading, like before, pick affinity reading, followed by Hifumi Togo. Now head to the rooftop in Oeyama Ichome. Speak to Haru and pick I'm here for the vegetables, followed by Son Tomato. Now talk to her again and choose to hang out this time. Answer with are you opening a cafe? Then he sounds suspicious and finally this is a complex issue. In the evening go hang out with Hifumi by answering her text. Answer with give it all you got, then a very queenly decision, then I want to stay by your side, and finally we'll be friends forever for the friendship path. At school, answer with zero, and then after school, head to the red light district for a fortune reading again. Pick affinity reading, but this time choose Munshiza Iwai. Next, hang out with Haru by answering a text. Answer with it'll be okay, I promise. Then I don't want to go with you, and finally, not yet. In the evening, choose to read, and then pick playing the game. After school, head over to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading, again. Pick affinity reading, and then Munishiza Iwai. Next, head to the hideout in Yongin Jaya, new requests, and then explore Memento. Weird, I know, but we have to do this. This time you can start partway in, since we're really only here for the target. Unless you still need to grind for Futaba's lines, or for the liquid mercury and aluminium sheets, then go ahead and get that done now. When you're ready, the target should be in level 3 of Adyesachi area. Good god, I keep butchering these names. When you reach the target, burn the male persona with fire, and freeze the female persona with ice to make this a walk in the park. Once you've done everything I mentioned before, you can leave mementos. In the evening, be sure to call Kawakami on the yellow payphone for a massage, and now head to Kanda to hang out with Hifumi, and be sure to invite her to the park. Then answer with Yugi just enters in Shogi. In the train, choose to read Tokyo Shrines, then in school, answer with an I. After school, head to the red light district in Shinjuku for a fortune reading by Chihaya, pick affinity reading, and then Munishiza Iwai. Next, head to the Cafe LeBlanc in Yongin Jaya and go hang out with Futaba. Answer with that's incredible, and then you work really hard too, followed by fine by me. In the evening, interact with the TV and answer with me in front of my TV. Now choose to read by interacting with the bar and pick Museum of Stars. On your free time in school, choose to read and pick Buchiko's story, and then after school, go hang out with Haru by answering her text. Answer with, that's pricey, then let me cover the bill, then you mean poop, then let's ask him, and finally, I'm not really sure. In the evening, be sure to save your game, and then interact with your TV, and choose let's play a game, followed by Gambler Goemon. I usually pick even, but it's up to you. All you need to do is win. If you don't win, just reload the save until you do. At school, answer with it's heavily processed, then after school head to the red light district in Shinjuku and go to the bookstore to buy the book available. Now go hang out with Futaba by answering her text. Pick, you've really matured, then are you okay Futaba, then no way, and finally because we're teammates for the friendship path. In the evening go hang out with Hifumi by answering her text, answer with you'll triumph in the end, and finally I believe in you. At night be sure to decline the invitation as always. Okay. Today is flu season, so save your game, I recommend you do a backup save, now head to mementos, then head to one of the lower areas and wait for 5 minutes on a single level until the reaper shows up. Hello there. Normally the reaper is an absolute super boss, but we're here in the flu season for a reason. When you engage a battle with it, be sure it gets to spare. If it doesn't, just run away and try again until it does get to spare. It may take a few tries, so be patient. Once it does have the spare, all you have to do is guard for 3 rounds and the reaper will commit suicide. Boom! It's as easy as that. Once you defeat the Reaper, you will unlock the A Unique Revel Trophy. Now reload your save to carry on with the day as normal. Interact with the TV if you want to buy what they're offering. Now make sure all your equipment is up to date with the best gear. Then head to the Airsoft Shop in Shibuya and buy all the best equipment you can. Then be sure to sell what you don't need. Finally, head to the Red Light District in Shinjuku for a fortune reading from Chihaya and pick Money Reading. Now you can head to the hideout in Yongin Jaya and infiltrate the palace. As always guys, we're in a palace so you use those tips. Pick whichever team you want to go with. Now head into the palace the same way you did before. Save at the first save 
save room, then save again in the next save room. When you reach your first mini boss, destroy them with wind attacks. Then on the mini boss after that, confuse it with psychic moves. Be sure to save at the next save room. Just a note, the big elephant enemies here also drop the liquid mercury if you still need some. Now be sure to save in the next save room. When you reach the next mini boss, hit it with wind and bless for an easy win. And in the next mini boss fight, obliterate it with nuke attacks. Once you obtain the 50,000, I highly recommend you save your game. Now when you get to the mini boss, the only attack you shouldn't use is wind attacks. He kind of absorbs that. Just use anything else you want to take it down since it has no weaknesses. After the scenes, you can leave the palace. Then in the evening, call Kawakami by using the payphone and ask for a massage. Then go do some laundry and again have Kawakami do it for you. Next, be sure to have a hang persona and go to the airsoft shop in Shibuya to hang out with Iwaii. Answer with, are you sure he's still alive? Then who's Masa? Then we should hurry. Then what's your goal here, Masa? And finally, you need to trust your son. Followed by Koru is really strong willed. In the train, choose to read game secrets. Then back at the palace, stick to the usual tips and head to the member's floor. Then interact with the lift and choose to go to the high limit floor. Save at the safe room here. Then when you reach the locked chest, feel free to open it. Next, head to the house of darkness. Be sure to save at the safe room. We will go past two locked chests here, but don't worry. As always, we will come back for them. Be sure to save in the next safe room. Then when you reach the next mini boss, just use whatever you want to dispatch it since it has no weaknesses. Now head to the battle arena. Save at the safe room here. In the first fight, use psychic attacks. In the second fight, use bless attacks. In the third fight, use whatever you want but be sure to guard when it glares at you. Then after the scenes, head to the Velvet Room. Now fuse a Bugs and an Anubis to create a Horus. Now fuse a Horus, an Isis, a Thoth and an Anubis to create Seth. Then be sure to give it a high counter from the items menu. Now give it to the twins. Now you can leave the palace. In the evening, be sure to call Kawakami and ask for a massage. Now head to Ichigaya to do some fishing. If you've been following this guide, then you should have the fishing trophy. If not, save your game and do it now. At school, answer with they put makeup on him. After school, head to the red light district in Shinjuku. Go to the bookstore and buy the available book. Next, head to the rooftop in Ayomi Chome. Speak to Haru and pick, I wanna see the vegetables. Then do the same and pick Moonlight Carrot. Next, head to the library, pick a table, and read wise men's words. In the evening, interact with your work desk and choose to make some tools. If you've been following this guide, then you should have enough materials to craft the eternal lockpick. Also a note here, be sure to craft every item yourself. If you choose Kawakami, then there's a chance the trophy will glitch. But go ahead and craft the eternal lockpick. Also make a note of the materials you need in order to craft the tools you haven't already crafted. Again, if you've been following this guide, it should only be the Megiddo Bomb, the Goho M, Reserve Ammo, and Treasure Trap. If you do, however, have enough materials to craft these, then go ahead. After you've crafted all the infiltration tools, you should unlock the craft worker trophy. In your free time at school, choose to read and pick Flowerpedia. After school, save your game. I recommend a backup save just in case as always. By the way, this only applies to you guys that still need infiltration tools. If you already have the trophy, then you don't need to bother. Now head to the Backstreaks in Young and Jaya, then go to the second hand shop and buy the materials that you need. Then you can head over to the Electric Town in Akihabara, go into the Machine Parts shop and buy all the materials that you need here as well. Finally, head to Mementos to farm the last materials you may need. When you have what you need, be sure to call Kawakami and ask for a massage. And then finally, craft the tools you need for the craft worker trophy to pop. Again, as a reminder, be sure to pick Make It Alone or else the trophy may glitch. Now load your game to carry on as normal. Okay, so head to the library, pick a table and choose to read Batting Science. In the evening, save your game and then interact with your TV and pick Let's Play a Game. Then choose Gambler Go Amon. Choose to use cheats to make it easier and like last time, be sure to win. If you don't, reload your save. In the train, choose to read Essence of Fishing. Then in school, answer with B. Then after school, head over to the library, pick a table and choose to read Cinema Treasures to unlock the Bookworm Trophy for reading all the books. You know, as long as you've been following this guide. In the evening, save your game and interact with the TV to play a game. Pick Star Fornius, pick use the technique to make it easier and then be sure to win. If you don't, reload the save. At school, answer with the summit of Mount Fuji. Then in the evening, you can't really do much, so go ahead and craft some more. Again, if you still need to craft items for the trophy to pop, then go ahead and do that now. When you're at the palace, be sure to use the usual Furuski tips, and then head to the Darkness Goal Arena to collect the locked chest. Again, be careful because enemies are on high alert. Then head to the House of Darkness safe room for the other locked chest. When you're done, head over to the high limit floor for a boss fight, obviously with phases. In the first phase, you can attack normally until roulette time comes. Then stop attacking completely and just buff as much as you can. When the dialogue comes, answer with I most certainly have, followed by there's a lid. Send whoever you want to break the glass and then keep buffing and healing until the glass is broken. In the second phase, attack whoever you want since the boss has no weaknesses. Keep your health up and be sure to stop attacking once roulette time starts. Also, if you see the boss using desperation, be sure to heal and guard because it's gonna hurt. Keep up this tactic and it shouldn't take long before it's over. When you get the option, be sure to save your game.
When the dialogue comes, be sure to answer with never heard of them. And then there were no such people. Then that's impossible. Then I don't know a thing. Then it goes against justice. Then you call this justice. Then saving others. Then what about the true culprit? Then don't you want to win? Then is that what you planned? Then hand it over. Then I want to make a deal with you. Then the phone. Then what are you talking about? Then show it to the true culprit. And finally, I already told you followed by, you need to trust me. In the later dialogue, answer however you wish. Then save your game when you can. Answer however you want until you can choose a diet building. Also on a side note, I did forget to mention this. You should have unlocked the My Backyard trophy by now. You get this by unlocking all the hangout spots. If not, you will get it very shortly. I should have said it, my bad. Now head to bed. Answer with, is it a shit? Okay. We're in a palace, so don't forget those tips. Since you now have the eternal lockpick, I won't be pointing out any locked chests because you can unlock them anyway. I recommend taking Yusuke, Haru, and Morgana, but as usual, it's up to you. Just be sure that you have an ice persona if you're leaving Yusuke behind. When you reach the first mini boss, just hit it with ice for an easy fight. Now save, and then be sure you have an empress persona. Then you can leave the palace. In the evening, interact with the TV and answer with speaker of the house decides. Then go to sleep. Head to the school gate in Ayome Chome, and then head to the rooftops and speak to Haru. Answer with I want to see the vegetables, then do the same but choose to hang out. Answer with somebody's telling the truth, then there has to be another way, and finally I don't think so. In the evening go do some laundry and have Kawakami do it for you. Now go save and interact with your TV to play some video games. So from this point forward I recommend you save your game whenever you can. We are going to be playing a lot of video games in the next couple of days, so in case you mess up and lose, you can always reload your save. Click Starfornius and use the technique and be sure to win. Leave the cafe and go hang out with Futaba, then answer with we'll do it together and then you can't lose to her. After that, answer however you want. In the evening, head to the airsoft shop in Shibuya and hang out with Iwai. Answer with it's up to you now Iwai and then I couldn't leave him. After that, answer however you want. Buy what the TV is offering if you want, next save your game, and then interact with the TV again, and pick let's play a game. Then choose Star Fornius. As always, be sure to win. In the evening, save your game again, and play video games again. This time choose Punch Ouch, and be sure to win. Go hang out with Haru by answering her text, and then answer with that's fascinating. Then I had no idea, and finally, black like coffee, followed by you don't need to apologize, and then be strong Haru. In the evening, save your game, and then go ahead and play some more punch out, and be sure to win. Head over to the school gate in Ayami Chome, then pick let's head to the rooftop to hang out with Haru. Pick you look exhausted, then what do you want to do, and finally, you should tell him that, followed by you can do it Haru. Now in the evening, go ahead and finish off punch out. Well, time to replicate real life. Go ahead and start playing Train of Life, and then in the evening do the same. Play some more Train of Life. Go hang out with Haru by answering her text, and answer with the soil, then I'll help them understand you, and finally I'll be cheering for you. In the evening go ahead and finish off Train of Life. Head to the school gate in Oyame Chome, then head to the rooftop to hang out with Haru. Answer with believe in yourself, then give it all you got Haru. And finally he saw us good friends for the friendship route. In the evening go ahead and start playing Power Intuition. Start off the day well by playing Power Intuition again, and then in the evening do exactly the same to finish it off. I'm not gonna lie this one did piss me off a little bit. Alright, go ahead and start up the last game. It's called Golfer Sarutahiko. I bet I butchered that again. In the evening, do the exact same thing. Go ahead and hang out with Haru by answering her text. Answer with things will be okay. Then it all comes down to the flavor. And finally, it's hard work, you know, followed by I look forward to that. In the evening, go ahead and finish off Golfer Sarutahiko. And for doing this, you will unlock the Golden Finger Trophy for completing all the video games. Head over to Electric Town in Akihabara, then go to the Retro Game Shop for some prizes. Now head over to the hideout in Yongin Jaya, pick few requests, and then go ahead and explore mementos. As always, treat this like a palace, so be sure to use those tips. Alright, so if you still haven't had any trophies that have popped in this guide, I would highly recommend you do that now. Then when you're done, head over to the Path of Adiasach, Area 13. When you reach the target, just use whatever you can since the enemy has no weaknesses. Then head as far down mementos as you can. Be sure to save at the rest area, and then save again at the next rest area when you get to it. When you can't go down any further in mementos, head to the mementos entrance and return to the real world. Now head to bed. Today you can do pretty much whatever you want. Have fun. Okay, 
Today is flu season again, so head over to the hideout in Young and Jaya and go ahead and explore mementos. Here, go into the Velvet Room and create as many of the personas you don't have as you can. Remember, I have a persona guide. If you get to a standstill because your level is too low or you've run out of money, head down to one of the lower levels in mementos and lure the Reaper out. Remember to wait five minutes in a single floor, and when you engage in battle, be sure it has despair. If it doesn't, then flee and try again. Every time you defeat him, you will go up a few levels. This might take a while, but trust me, it will set you up nicely for New Game Plus. I would highly recommend you grind till you're about level 95. While you're doing this, you will also unlock the Merciless Executioner trophy if you haven't already for performing 50 Persona fusions. Once you've created all the Personas that you can, you can go ahead and head back to the real world. Okay, so for the next few days, I'll just be skipping since there's really nothing to do. I will take this time to catch up on any trophies you haven't gotten yet or anything you need to catch up on like confidants, things like that. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, interact with the TV if you want to buy what they're offering. Next, head to the red light district in Shinjuku to get a fortune reading from Chihaya and pick money reading. Now head to the hideout in Young and Jai to literally destroy the palace. Like seriously, choose whatever party you want. If you follow this guide up to this point to create as many personas as you can, your level will be stupidly high. You know, you can pretty much finish the whole game now without any tips, but I'm nice. I'm going to give them to you anyway. So use the palace tips as always. You should have all personas by now, but if not, I still have a persona guide below. The only special tip I will say for this palace is to talk to the guests when you see a bubble above their heads. When you're ready, head to the central passage. When you reach the mini boss, obliterate it with psychic attacks. Be sure to save at the safe room. In the next mini boss fight, zap it with electricity. Save at the next safe room. When you reach the next mini boss, use bless attacks to purify it. Be sure to save in the next safe room. And in the next mini boss fight, use electric attacks on the birds and hit the main enemy with ice attacks. Save again in the next safe room. Then when you reach the next mini boss fight, use duke attacks on the male enemy and psychic on the females to squat them like bugs. In the mini boss fight after that, use whatever you want since it has no weaknesses. In the next mini boss fight after that, use whatever you want again, they have no weaknesses. And then it's boss time. In the first phase, you can attack however you want and try to keep your health up. For the second phase, it's more of the same, but you can add some buffs here and there to make the fight a bit faster. Since you're unsafe, you can revive if you die, but it can be quite a tough fight. After the scenes, head back to the real world and then go to sleep. Go ahead and send out the calling card by answering the text. When you're in the palace, head to Central Passage and then straight ahead to the assembly hall for a boss fight. In the first phase, you could just use magic attacks. Don't use physical attacks because he will reflect them. If he uses rage on your party, be sure to cure it as soon as possible. And in the second phase, switch it up and use only physical attacks since it will resist all magic. In the third phase, you can use whatever you want to dispatch it. And in the fourth phase, you heard me, fourth phase, you can use whatever you want. Just be sure to keep your health up and cure any ailments. In the fifth phase, god damn, basically use the same tactic as before but with steroids like literally jesus dude anyway he's gonna hit you hard keep it up though and he'll be toast before you know it i recommend using charge with ryuji and then in the next turn using god hand it has that name for a reason all right so i'm gonna skip a few days again and again take this time to catch up on whatever you need to catch up on all right answer with d then not their real voice then they speak the same and finally supplement the voice Answer with hearts, and then it includes a number. Answer with Japan, and then Dreadnought. After school, head to the hideout in Young and Jaya, pick few requests. You should only have one if you've been following this guide, and then go and explore mementos. While you're here, be sure to get the final treasure demons. You can refer to my persona guide to see where they are. If you're having trouble getting any of the final treasure demons, there is a method that does work. What you want to do is travel between levels 13 and 14 until a treasure demon spawns. Engage in battle with it, and if it's not the one you're looking for, escape. Then in the same floor, find a shadow, engage in battle with that, and then also escape. When you go back to the where the treasure demon was initially, it will have respawned. Rinse and repeat until you find the treasure demons you need. When you're ready, head to the 14th floor to fight our target. Yes, this guy is literally a cock. Literally a cock. Anyway, give it a circumcision with nuke attacks and it will be over faster than the virgin's first time. If you've been following this guide, you should also unlock the perfect trophy for completing all requests. When you've done everything you needed to do, head back to the real world. If you have anything you need to do, call Kawakami. If not, go to sleep. When you can, answer with what's up, and then stay here forever. Alrighty, head to the deepest part of Mementos and keep exploring. When you reach the first mini boss, use wind attacks to end it swiftly. Alright, puzzle time, so if you want to figure it out on your own, skip over to... Spoilers incoming. Take the same steps I do here to solve the puzzle. The second puzzle is solved like this.
And the third puzzle is solved like this. Be sure to save at the safe room. In the mini boss fight, destroy it with nuke and psychic attacks. You know why I'm here. You know the drill by now. Spoilers incoming. Do as I do here to solve the puzzle easily. In the next mini boss fight, just don't use fire attacks. That is all. Last one guys, if you want to figure out on your own, skip to the big brain time. Spoilers incoming. To solve this puzzle, just pretty much make a full circle. The next puzzle, follow these steps to complete it. Then the puzzle after that, follow these steps to complete it. The East puzzle is solved like this. The West puzzle is solved like this. And finally, the North Puzzle is solved like this. Be sure to save at the next safe room. Then when you reach the boss, do whatever you want. When you're speaking to Igor, answer with what happened, then ruin, then are you serious? And finally, where are my teammates? In the next fight, just endure. Keep your health up and it will be over soon. After the scenes, you will unlock the Great Phantom Thieves Convene Trophy for maxing out all confidence. When you get a choice, pick our Refuse for the true ending path. And then after the scenes, be sure to head down to the Velvet Room and create the rest of the personas that you can since all confidence are now maxed out. Again, you can check the persona guide I have and be sure to have every persona except the one that you can't create yet, which we will make in New Game Plus. Finally, heal by talking to Lavenza and save your game. When you reach the mini boss, dispatch it however you Want. In the next mini boss fight, I'd recommend charging with Ryuji and then using God Hand. In the mini boss after that, destroy it however you choose. Again, Ryuji's method is always an option from this point forward. In the next mini boss fight, use curse attacks on the minions and Ryuji's tactic on the main enemy. Be sure to save your game here and head to Shibuya Square so Lavenza can heal you. Also, take this time to create any personas you don't have. I keep repeating myself because I want you to be as prepared in New Game Plus as possible. We want to make New Game Plus as fast and easy as possible. Anyway, when you're ready, head to the shrine entrance for a good old boss fight. All right, so phase one, be sure to send someone to cut the cables. You can choose whoever you want. After that, just attack however you want and heal when needed until the Holy Grail falls. In the second phase, it's all or nothing. All those items you've been saving the whole game, now's the time to use it. When he summons arms, be sure to take them out. I'd recommend using a spell that hits every enemy. Then once the boss falls, you unlock the true trickster trophy for completing mementos. So you're gonna get a few more scenes and stuff like that, but essentially everything for the platinum in the first step is done. So well done, you made it. And in this step, you should have unlocked these trophies. So with that said, you should only have a few trophies left, which should be these. So I bet that took a long time. It sure as hell did on my end anyway. So now that we're on step two of the roadmap, I'm not gonna lie, it is gonna be pretty straightforward on paper, but how painful it's gonna be all depends on how burnt out you are of the game already. We still need to do pretty much a full playthrough, but you can just run through the game as quickly as possible, doing whatever choices you wanna do. Again, I recommend you start the game on safe mode. And the only two tasks you should only have left to do in this playthrough is create Satanael and defeat the twins. So essentially in this step, you will unlock these trophies. Okay, so be sure to load your clear data and be sure to choose to inherit clear data. Now get through the scenes as normal. When you reach the difficulty choice, 
Again, I highly recommend you choose safe difficulty again, but it's up to you. Do remember though, we want to make New Game Plus as easy and as fast as possible because I know if you're anything like me, by this point, the burn will be real. Anyway, from here you can play the game however you choose and pick whatever choices you want. When you do obtain a new part, remember, be sure to update their gear since the gear you obtained in the previous playthrough has passed over. And our main goal here is to reach the 18th of May. Then explore mementos. Now head to the Velvet Room and summon a Jack Frost. It should already have Mabu and give it to the twins. Now that you have the group guillotine, fuse a Lucifer, a Satan, a Michael, an Ishtar, an Anzu, and an Arsene to create Sataniel and unlock the one who rebels against a god trophy. And also the mass collector trophy for completing the Persona compendium. Now comes the most painful part. We need to play until the next flu season. So again, play however you wish until the 13th of November. By the way, feel free to attempt the twins before November if you like. I tried personally and all I got was humiliation. So I'm gonna go through the power leveling route. Also, whilst you're getting to November, you may as well clean up on any trophies that you may have missed from the last playthrough. So, when you finally do reach the fateful day, flu season is high, so let's go ahead and power level to take these midgets down. Head over to Mementos. Here, be sure to choose the personas you're gonna use so that you level them up as well as your characters. I do highly recommend Yoshitsune, but if not, then choose personas that have no weaknesses. When you're ready, head over to any level of Mementos and lure out the Reaper. Just like in the last playthrough, be sure it has Despair and power level away. I personally I personally fought the twins at level 78. The best party I found was Ryuji and An Makoto, and I had this equipment for each of them. The best accessory I found that worked was the Divine Pillar, because although you don't dodge attacks, it has all damage taken. Like I said, this is the party, personas, level, and equipment that worked best for me but feel free to experiment for yourself. Either way, when you believe you're ready to face the twins, go ahead and speak to Caroline to start the fight. Like all boss fights, they do have phases. The first phase, it will consist of only physical attacks. My method throughout the whole fight was to charge with the main character and Ryuji and to concentrate with Anne in the first turn. Then in the second turn, I used physical attacks that hit both twins. This is very important because if you defeat only one, they will revive each other. So try and always hit both at the same time. They also do tend to dodge quite a lot, so try and even out the damage if needed. For Makoto, I mainly just used her to heal the whole party. I'd recommend doing this every other turn, but the most important thing is to just keep your health up because the damage that the twins do is no joke. When you reach the second phase, they switch it up to magic and will exploit your weaknesses, which is exactly why it's before the start of the fight. I told you to choose personas that have no weaknesses. Your party will get punished a lot, but they should survive as long as you keep your health up. Keep up the same attacking pattern as before, and soon enough they should reach their third phase. In this phase, they carry on using magic, but they hit harder than before. That's pretty much the only difference I found. So keep up the same tactic and you should beat them without a lot of problems. Once you do, you'll unlock the Beyond Rehabilitation trophy and finally the well-deserved Platinum trophy. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this guide. Although it took me a hell of a long time to make, I think it was worth it. I wish I had a guide like this when I was playing Persona 5. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up so it helps me in the YouTube algorithm. As always, I am going to be really generic and say, you know, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Share it with your friends so everybody can get the Persona 5 Platinum. For you guys who got the PlayStation 5, it should be free for you because of the PlayStation collection. So now's the best time to platinum this game. I want to take a moment to thank these guys for being patrons and supporting the channel in the most generous way possible. If you guys want to also become patrons and become a part of the elite Faruski clan, obviously with exclusive perks, hit that link down below in the description and become a patron today. As always, if you guys do want to join the Faruski clan discord or follow me on any other social media, all those links are down below in the description as always. And that was it for this one, Faruski clan. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Guy Faruski out.